The following is classified level row. Unauthorized access is punishable under the GTVA Security Act, Deneb Convention, Section 2135. In 2345, on the 10th anniversary of the Shivan attack on Ross 128, the Vasudan Emperor Khonsu II addressed the newly formed GTVA General Assembly. The Emperor inaugurated an ambitious and unprecedented joint endeavor, the GTVA Colossus. The Colossus is the most powerful space-faring warship ever constructed. Spanning six kilometers from bow to stern, the Colossus has taken over 20 years to complete. Twelve Lucifer-class destroyers can fit within its massive hull. Its state-of-the-art weaponry includes 45 laser turrets, 15 flak guns, 12 missile batteries, and 12 beam cannons. The Colossus wields more firepower than five Orion-class destroyers combined. Sixty fighter and bomber wings are housed in its vast hangar, and its crew numbers over 30,000. Among its major contractors are industry giants Triton Dynamics, Subak Innis, and the Akaton Corporation. The Alliance now wages war on multiple fronts. In Deneb, Alpha Centauri, Epsilon Pegasi, and the mysterious nebula beyond Gamma Draconis. Once deployed, the Colossus will end these conflicts swiftly and decisively. If ever the Shivans return to threaten our worlds, we will be ready to face the challenge, securing peace for today and for generations to come. There's something wrong with our bloody ships today. <clears throat> oh yeah, we're finally there, Grandpa. You can turn up your hearing aid. Yeah, this is like the one epic part of World War One. Yeah. Remember when I said we're finally going to get to the battles? Well, yeah, most of the land battles, we've already covered a lot of. Oh, I know. What about the porno factory piss trenches? Let's do a quick recap of all the land battles you missed while you were jerking off in your castle somewhere, King Henry. Yeah, no, and I mean, just, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Frankly, this is kind of a boring one. <laughs> straight up, that's the best way I can think to say of it. Shit's fucking boring. Yeah fucking honoring the veterans indeed yeah dude you don't straight up think these guys would be saying the same thing yeah it was most boring fucking four years of my life my god unless yeah it depends well i'm not gonna say sinking in a u-boat would have been fun or even living in one of those first u-boats yeah i'm sure some german guys were just waiting like buddy you know fucking shit shizen shizen living in that shizen yeah no shizen buddy Fucking half of it's full of diesel, the other half's full of batteries, and we got room for a gun on this thing? <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah, no, the the, the Navy, uh, that's the interesting nugget, the, the fucking Star Wars, Space Wars, is where you get to see the Dreadnought fade into antiquity. The very concept of a, of a super star destroyer, a fucking massive uh, flagship, the big motherfucking ship, no motherfucking wolf pack, wolf pack of small ships like a U-boats, yep, whether you're in space or whatever, I don't know. We we're gonna, yeah, th we finally get to break it down, I'm gonna spend a couple, straight up a couple hours nerding out on Navy shit. Sure, some people, yeah, well, so yeah, finally, I thought we were going to talk about some more, but before we do that, yeah, quick little 20 minute recap of the rest of the ship, and we'll, yeah, and then we'll do one once we're done this and the, the quote unquote war is over, then we'll do a final section on you know the politics, uh, President HP Lovecraft walking in, set up the UN, uh, fucking yeah, the transition into World War II, etc. That'll be a little intermediate period, but yeah, no, I mean, <laughs> okay. <clears throat> As far as the battlefront goes, we already covered most of the Zaruski situation. The Russian <laughs> SPQR versus USSR. Fucking hell, man. The Kremlin nukes versus the caveman nukes. I'm again, if some of you are still trying to get around the whole ultranationalism thing. No, I'm right from the middle of it all. Yeah, I don't know. Again, distinguish nationality from heritage. My blood heritage, uh, Latin douchebag, whatever. You'd need a fucking xenobiologist to, to get any further, yeah, more approximate, you know, more accurate data on that. Uh, as far as nationality, yeah, nationalism, patriotism, I think I can finally, oh, let's start with this. I think I can finally draw a distinction, yeah. Uh, examples, at least, yeah. I understand, again, back to Mr. Francais, yeah, fucking, we can all laugh with this guy now that he's got a straight-up Moscow jump. Oh, straight-up Moscow jump. 
Motherfucker, en passant. <clears throat> right? Where's the croissant? Uh, yeah, I understand why, you know, straight up French man of, of 30 generations is proud to be a French man of 30 generations living in France with a bunch of French people. Goddamn, straight up. That's, yeah, yeah, straight up. There's a straight, there's a real mafamia. Yeah, biggest ma mafia in France. <laughs> it's all the fucking French people outside of the town of Flanders. Yeah, yeah, no, and now that they're buddies with the Ruskies, yeah, there's another 500 million Russians in your mafia. Yeah, straight up, guys. But that's not even where I was going with this. I do have more to it. I don't know if some of you were thinking, yeah, you're not, you're, you're patriotic, uh, yeah, I'm patriotic about the mafia. You know, it depends of how much of an asshole Vinny's being. Yeah, right. That's part of it. That's very much part of it. Yes, this transcends flags and borders. And how many maps do I have to put you inside of before you'll stop showing me maps? Indeed. Yeah, re realistically, if I want to get all, you know, Lou Dobbs, Tucker Carlson on this shit, when the Taldarim show up, yeah. It's the Republic, man. Yeah, I know how that sounds. Straight up ready to start a Star Wars prequel here. Old Republic, New Republic, fucking Dark Trooper, Stormtrooper, Clone Trooper, fucking anything, everything. Yeah. All it means is a government run by the public. Any, I, yeah, it's not a real democracy. No, you're right. We're working on it. We've been working on it for a long time. What have you been working on? Right. And yeah, they all have problems. Fucking America's got problems. Russia has got problems. Soviet Union had some serious fucking problems, comrade. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. If it weren't for the nuclear missile master of the queen bitch of Russia, oh yeah, it would have been a lot different. I don't think we'd be talking about it anymore. Uh, yeah, on one hand, the Kim Jong Un wouldn't be. Yeah, we'll get there. Call Korean War around the corner, bud. God damn. That's what kicks off the Cold War, by the way. Yeah, right. Like, oh my God. It, Anyone who's trying to be more intellectual, even if you don't know much, like you're, you, yeah, you wait, you're, you're trying to get ahead of the curb. I don't doubt you're thinking, yeah, Korean War, man, that is an apex of like so much shit. Yeah, the Cold War, communism, my God, communist China, my fucking Kim Jong Un dynasty. Yeah, almost there. Oh man, I don't doubt some straight fucking yeah, crouching tigers are smoking the dragon, waiting for this shit. We'll get to you guys. Just you know, sneak preview in case you just got here. Yeah, the Soviet Union, comrade. I don't care if it's the USA or the USSR or the straight-up People's Republic of China. You know why? They're all republics, motherfucker. If I gotta choose ABC or some dildo ring of some pharaoh, lord, master, king of fucking Game of Bones, Game of Dildo Thrones. Yeah. I don't know. I might as well cap it off here as we go in. Yeah, no, I mean... I know, whatever, yeah, it was, we're all gonna be throwing cards on the table soon, throwing judge, welcome to the forum of fucking N-bomb madness when the pharaoh shows up, right, pharaoh's on his way, yeah, no, I'm just saying, this is the one, yeah, there, very few times am I in a position to really wag my finger at someone, you know, naughty, naughty, fucking bratty stepkids. Game of Thrones, royalty, as in blue-blooded royalty. I know how that's kind of a buzzword these days. All it means is the, the very idea of a king, as in the, the, the divine right of kings. Like, I am, yeah, king by mandate of law, whatever. Like, default, I just am the king. Yeah, you're not the king, I'm the king. We've had kings before, yeah, and it ain't perfect, I'm just saying. There is a difference between, you know, I know some people think, oh, the Roman Empire, yep, Imperator, yeah, yeah, straight up Imperator, Praetor, motherfucking Legionnaire, Arturia, yeah, straight up, motherfucking a little different than the king. And on one hand, I understand that kings are simply a thing of any, kings and queens and dukes and duchess and the fucking straight up count of Flanders. It's just antiquated. Yeah, whatever. Sorry. Yeah, sorry we had a count of Flanders for a little longer than necessary. Some French guy's waiting. Yeah, goddamn motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, right? I get it. It's just whatever. Tradition. Yeah, traditions can stick around for a long time. The one that really, really gets to me is Emperor. Ooh, Emperor. It's, that's one word, uh, yeah, not many times can I say you stole a word from us. Oh, now everyone's laughing. Yeah, I, you know I preached Latin to you motherfuckers for centuries, and now I'm bitching at you for stealing a word. No, I'm bitching at you for mangling a word. And don't forget, before you go blaming the Emperor of China, yeah, straight up shogunate in Japan's ready to pimp slap you across the channel, right? They don't even like China, but they're like, bitch, don't fuck with Imperator fucking god damn 
I forgot his name. Oh, yeah, T Tokugawa. Yeah, right? Motherfucker's ready to assassinate me from beyond the grave. Oh, no, straight, don't even doubt it, motherfucker. Yeah, now they're laughing. If anyone is in a position to assassinate beyond the grave, it's somewhere between Genghis Khan and fucking Tokugawa. Saying is, those are examples... Th that specifically, um, <laughs> samurai slaughtering your way to Imperator, that's an example of an Imperator. I'm not saying it's good or righteous. I'm saying... It was the result of finicky politics. It was imperative. Maybe not the best answer, but they did it because they thought they had to, and it d d didn't last forever, and the, the key distinction, yeah, for all, I know some people are still stuck in the middle, just they're not sure. Yeah, they're like, I'm missing, yeah, you're missing a piece. Fair enough. You can point to any shitty imperator, emperor, motherfucking whatever, king dildo master of any country in the world whatever their government is, and say, what about that guy? Yeah, what about Hitler? Mm -hmm. Chancellor? Yeah, he wasn't a king. He was a chancellor. It was basically like a president. It is, yeah, think of a different name, I guess, right? Trying to be original. They got their own mafia. They got their own fucking republic. In a way, uh, sorry, a little side tangent, still relevant. I think in a lot of ways, Germany was trying to create their own version of Rome, but they didn't want to just copy it, right? They're like, well, that wouldn't be very original. We got to think of another name. And yeah, how about a chancellor? Yeah, it's better than a president or whatever we used to call it. Oh my God, no, patrician douchebag's ready to kill me again if I forget this again. Consul, like a Jedi consular, motherfucker. That's what we used to call presidents, consulars. Yeah, consular, praetor, mo yeah, right. And yeah, there's a lot to it. The bottom line is... There's a whole network of people surrounding the president and, and the imperator, yeah. It's not just the King Aragorn, I'm sorry. You, you know that douchebag in Lord of the Rings who's like the steward, whoever, yeah, the douchebag? Imagine there was like 20 of those guys, yeah, yeah, sort of, I know. Hey, I, yeah, I'm still waiting for uh, who, someone's got a better idea, but you can't tell me the Count of Flan- Yeah, go ask anyone in France. The Count of Flanders? Fuck no. Where's a fucking Moscow jump? Yeah, and I know, right? Look at someone, well, what about Stalin? Yeah, you gotta realize, with someone like Stalin, or Hitler, or fucking Donald Trump, whatever, yeah, I'm sure he's laughing. Think about it. Trump Jr., yeah, no, 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 yeah. Can, do, imagine. Can you imagine? No, they're already laughing. Amer like I said, America is immune to a divine right of kings. Can you imagine if Trump Jr. was the next president just by default? No vote, no nothing. Yeah, no, he passes his dildo ring to him. Yeah, that's the difference. That's the difference. Any government, anyone, any crazy asshole can turn into the king of Sparta, assuming no one can stop him. Anyone can turn into the Dutch king of Spain if no one is in a position or willing to stop him. Some fat douchebag from Spain could roll up and take over your house if you're not in a position to go imperator on that motherfucker. He knows it, I know it, my fucking pharaoh in Egypt knows it. So yeah, I mean, I'm sure even some of the more skeptical or patriotic or whatever people can think, yeah. No matter how bad your president is, no matter how much of an embarrassment Donald Trump is, you know it's only going to last a few years. You know his son is not the next king. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. It, it's a hazy gray middle where you can point to the best king ever and the worst president ever and say, man, you're going to say this is better than that. I'm going to say one, one is... They're different things. Yeah, yeah, right? I, I can't say which is better or worse. I can say... Yeah, if I gotta pick A, B, C, D, I'm going to, I'm going to the fucking I'm Republic of Ireland before I, yeah, right, if anything, I don't doubt someone's laughing up there. One of them remembers, oh, didn't you say a grandmother was Irish? Man, my, she didn't have much of an accent. Well, sometimes, it depends how much she wants to fuck with your head. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, mate, yeah, straight up, mate. I can help you guys fuck with Britain and England. <laughs> hey, guys, you know what I mean. We'll get into the whole psychological scud storm of profanity instead, right? Get the Scottish synagogue online. Oh, God, just nuke England with profanity. Would you prefer that, or, yeah, something, right, so, God, right? I hope that doesn't sound too serious. I don't doubt a lot of people in England are laughing, or they're like, come on, we gotta think, yeah, get your list of profanity together, guys. Anyway, that's why I've got the USSR Kremlin nuke factory on my coat of arms. Not to mention that if you want to get all ultra-nationalist, yeah, my dad came from the Soviet Union in Slovenia, Slovakia, which used to be Austria, which were the Praetorian Legionnaire, yeah, of the SPQR USSR. I don't doubt some of you were thinking, no, I'm starting to get it. They're different, but they're similar. And here's here's the thing. 
oh, I know, some straight-up Heisenschroger German, like, professor from Germany, straight-up professor of Germany, the most serious corncob pipe you've ever seen. It's just a little bit of tobacco in there. Yeah, motherfucker's sober. He's, no, no, he's got some Jägermeister. Oh, yeah, he's got some Jägermeister. Huntsmaster, yeah, Master Huntsman, that's literally what it fucking means. Master fucking Huntsman. Anyway, yeah, the... the this is one of very few issues I could think of that would divide Romans and Germans. I know, right? Hey, some of them are thinking it, some of us are thinking it. Oh, man. Hey, Heisenschroger, fucking the Alaric, whatever, any Germans in Germany. Fucking my, uh, whoever, man, yeah. I get it. I know you guys probably didn't like the Soviet Union, comrade, or America. Yeah, the USA and the USSR. That is a nasty shit stain in the Berlin Wall history. Oh boy, yeah, buddy, yeah, no, I'm, uh, yeah, right. You saw me trying to deal with England in the little end bomb room. No, this is a little more serious. I feel like I gotta basically just tell them everything I know about it. Yeah, no, this is like almost like the mafia like needs to know what fucked up with this operation. Oh, you don't think this is part of our mafia? You don't think Switzerland is a German mafia, motherfucker? Yeah, they get it. They get it. That's all it is, boys. Switzerland is a straight up German mafia. You guys know what that means. And yeah, like, again, I'm starting with what I already knew and going from there. Uh, this is one thing, though. You've heard me joke about this before. Yeah, if you've ever gone Google Gulag, yeah, yeah, welcome to the fucking Gulag, comrade. This is one example where, yeah, yeah, this is where you're bordering on Lizard Man conspiracy, where I'm bordering on Lizard Man conspiracy. All I'm saying is, yeah, if you've been along for the ride, you've heard me say it before. It's something of a catchphrase at this point. Yeah, yeah. The Soviet Union is not very well known for, you know, sharing secrets. Yeah, yeah. They share some things, or some things have been taken. Yeah, exactly. All I'm saying is, don't get Lizard Man on this, but yes, this is one case where, <laughs> I hate to say, unless you need some insider, yeah, yeah, Slovenian, Slovakian fucking insider information, but this is one thing you cannot just Google, unfortunately. Yeah, you can, you can get a vague idea of the fucking nuclear missile master dominion of the fucking... So yeah, you probably get it. If all you're doing is Googling, you're either going to see a bunch of crazy nut jobs that want you to join their Soviet Union, or a bunch of crazy nut jobs like me going all ape shit over the King of Sparta or some shit, or the greatest evil known to mankind. We'll get, yeah, I don't doubt even the Germans are thinking, what? Yeah, no, greatest evil of mankind, fucking bullshit, and yeah, straight up shies and bullshit. How the fuck do they, oh my god, it's not, no. Oh, yeah, some of the, some great acts of carnage and tyranny came out of that, such as the Berlin Wall, such as the, the Imperator situation of the Chairman Mao. Yeah, I almost say it, Chairman Mao, as much as he's number one for killing people, straight up Imperator. Mafaka hashashinating, black hand assassinating imp Emperor, yeah, kicking ass in the millions, unfortunately, yeah. It's a lot to it. Oh, then they're thinking too, goddamn, how many Chinese people died? A lot, a lot of fucking people died, man, yeah. Yeah, right, and then, oh, how many Italians died? Motherfucking Super Mario's Galaxy. Right? We, I don't know, we praise the dead. We fucking we celebrate the dead, man. Fucking Hades, dude, that's another fucking plaque for Hades. That just makes them look more badass. I, I don't know how else to say it. So yeah, we will get into that, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, the Cold War will come right after World War II, basically. Well, the Soviet Union starts right at the end of World War One. We'll include that in the politics. Just, yeah, that, that's the little sneak preview. I'm sure one of you's thinking, yeah, at some point, yeah, 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 if I'm going to be all ranting and raving about how awesome the Soviet Kremlin nuke factory is, some of these Germans are going to be a little, um, uh, I don't know if I should, yeah, is this, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. No, but at the same time, you're thinking, yeah, goddamn, this is Heisenschroger's debate club of Einstein and Niels Bohr. Like, oh, you got some science. Oh, this, yeah, if you know something, you know something. But yeah, it's a lot like Sparta. Yeah, it's like, man, if you know something, you know something. If you don't, get the fuck out. <laughs> Right? Yeah, no, man. Come on, guys. We can figure... Yeah, I might need some of your help in this shit. We'll figure this out, guys. Yeah, because I don't... Yeah. <laughs> I, I, My dad wasn't from Germany, but very close. Yeah, I don't doubt some of you were thinking, too, wait a minute, Czechoslovakia, that's the right in the middle. That's the Higgs boson middle of the sleazy gray middle, right? 
yeah, yeah, there's probably a little bit of German in me, but I, I don't know. I look like a Mexican cowboy. I don't know how else to say it, right? I'm sorry. I look more like a Latin douchebag. I'm whatever. If you want to get Heisenschroger's fucking nuclear fucking atomic mic microscope on this shit, you got some straight up xenobiologist with the Taldarim. You can show me. Yeah, right. I'm just saying, if you saw me somewhere. I can either be a hombre diablo motherfucking, yeah, whatever. Come to my a Catholic church, hombre. It's in Ireland. <laughs> oh, it's in Ireland. <laughs> fucking hell, walk in and there's a Mexican cowboy. Yeah, you never know, guys. I mean, it kind of goes along with the joke about the Higgs boson. Yeah, we just had to prove it was there. Yeah, we still don't know much about it. Yeah, you might think about it. As far as ultranationalism goes, it's probably the only country to be both German and Roman, or, you know, Austrian and, and Austro-Germany, basically. And it didn't exist for long, but it did exist. Yeah, and it's on my birth certificate, motherfuckers. I know it's real. Motherfucking $100 blunt signed and sealed from Canada, motherfucking Shadow Factory saying that shit was real, motherfucker. Yeah, right? No, there very much was a country that was both German and Roman. And it was fractured and dissolved, and yeah, yeah, it's complicated. It was one of the first places the Nazis came. I don't, hey, straight up. God, yeah, thanks, Bryce. So yeah, actually, yeah, what the fuck? How am I? Yeah, right? They, they had, it's like the mafia. We can't just uh, pretend they're not there. They Yeah, they're not going to pretend we're not there. Shit starts getting Imperator again. Motherfucker's going to roll on in with some straight mobsters and be like, what's up, boys? Yeah, I, I would expect as much from the fucking German mafia at this point. No, no, but I'm sure some of them are laughing. Okay, yeah, so you guys march into Slovakia. Yeah, and we, we, then afterwards, the Kremlin nuke factory locks down on Berlin. Like I said... We've been fighting each other for a long time, but we know each other so well by this point. Even if most of us don't know most of us, it's, yeah, it just kind of clicks naturally. It's like the French and the Russians playing chess, yeah, right? And again, yeah, we might be thinking too, remember, Russia, it's a lot of different nationalities and there are, you know, a lot of, a lot of different um, gene pools, yeah. There's a lot of Slovenians and Slovakians up in there, too. A lot of There's some Germans, straight-up German grandmas in Germany and Russia. The border changed, yeah. I'm just thinking, yeah, like, whatever. Even ultra-nationalist people can probably get... Yeah, <laughs> there were people in the Soviet Union that were the same ethnicity as me and had the same patriotism about the Republic of whether it be Rome or China or fucking whatever, as long as it's not a fucking dildo ring. And I don't blame a lot of people for this kind of, yeah, yeah, whatever. Like I said, Queen Spindly Spider Bitch. I'm aware that she, yeah, sh she's getting old. Yeah, we're, right? We can, yeah, we can let old Grey Mare lay to rest in peace. And, yeah, right at that point, I ain't in a position to judge a motherfucker. But there are more dildo masters. Oh, there are more dildo masters. There are dildo assassinators, motherfucking assassinating the crown as we speak. There's a motherfucking shadow factory up in Canada with Santa's nuke factory. Yeah, there's the next fucking USSR Kremlin. Yeah, I'm I'm right in. Yeah, you know I live there, motherfucker. It's a big country. Yeah, right. It's a big motherfucking country. Lot. This is the thing. I've thought about moving here, there, wherever. In the end, I'm thinking, no, motherfucker. If I'm above some straight Stalin Soviet Kremlin nuke factory, where better than Santa's motherfucking nuke factory, a Canada's shadow factory, motherfucker? This is the place to be on top. This is, the, if anywhere else in the world, this is that last territory that's sort of, what's the word, um, contested. And right, and I'm sure even some straight up fucking mobsters in the government here are like, yeah, bro, yeah, yeah, right? God damn, yeah, right? It, it, come on, guys. I'm, I'm not just, yeah, right? I'm not an anarchist. I'm a fucking Soviet socialist comrade. They're like, God damn, straight up, motherfucker. Get rid of this dildo crowd. I don't know. Last little preview there. I, I, as far as I know, uh, correct me if you're more Russian than my dad's friend or whatever. I'm pretty sure the word Soviet just means mafia. Basically, it's your family. It's your social circle. Your Soviets. Your, yeah, your, your town, your, your group, your, your clan, your friends on Facebook. Pretty much, it's their word for it. it, it yeah, it, uh, and the thing is, Russia's so big that, that that they that was just that was their own little patriotic, like poetic twist on it. Again, like what if people in Vladivostok are like, "Whoa, does that is the, the I think about it." People living on the east side of Russia are thinking, "Yeah, are we allowed?" It? Yeah, they're probably not sure. All these crazy motherfuckers over in Moscow and shit. 
Yeah, they sent some fucking people all the way over just to let them know, buddy, it's a Soviet Socialist Republic. Y'all some Soviets? Yeah, y'all in the... So yeah, just making sure they knew that they were all Soviets. We're all Americans. We're all... Yeah, right, that's what it is. That's, in my opinion, the difference between nationalism and patriotism. Patriotism transcends nationalism to where... My fuck if I gotta get rid of my confederate flag and you guys gotta get rid of a swastika and I gotta write SPQR upside down, inside out on my fucking underwear, whatever, dude. Yeah, right? As long as there's not a dildo master, as long as the imperators are imperative. My fucking Cleopatra knows what that means. I hope you do. And yeah, I don't doubt some straight up German professors are like, well, shit, <laughs> this guy's all hardcore about America and the Soviet Union. Yeah, yeah, when the Cold War comes around, yeah, yeah, we're going to be taking a hard look over at fucking the Han Chin fucking my fucking ping pong dynasties going on. Yeah, we will. We'll be diving into that. But as far as, you know, the meta narrative, yeah, whose side am I going to take? Obviously, USSR. I'm so, you, you know why? I'm sure even a fucking American, like John Wayne knows why. Yeah, John Wayne, you you can speak for, um, you don't think John Wayne can speak for America against communism? Yeah, there's enough John Waynes in Texas, fucking anywhere in America that can go, yeah, or, yeah, or some hipster douchebags who want to start going. And here's a thing, too. I actually do want to bridge a gap to some of these wannabe communists. I hesitate to say I, you know, quote-unquote, lost a friend on Facebook over this. I'm sure you've been through this. You have a serious, uh, what, you support Donald Trump? We're not friends anymore. Clearly, we weren't best of friends before, but we were actual friends. Yeah, this wasn't just an acquaintance. We had been friends, like, in high school. Hadn't talked to the guy for a while. Turns into a straight-up Soviet socialist comrade. Yeah, you would think I'd be, yeah... Problem is, he was a little, yeah, yeah, stubborn about it. And, uh, yeah, right? He was on, under the impression that the grass is always greener on the other side, and I'm trying to tell him, buddy. They became a Russian Federation, a Federal Republic of fucking Russia for a reason, motherfucker. Unfortunately, the one reason most people like, yeah, think of the one reason most people would go communist. At least you get food. Yeah, what if you don't? Yes, yeah, sorry, we're some broke-ass motherfuckers. That's the problem. Even with all... Yeah, even with Russia. Yeah, yeah, all that. All that, all those hardcore motherfuckers who don't even know what stop and no means until later. Yeah, right, no, these are the people who have almost forgotten how to give up to a point where it's dangerous to their society. I'm sure they get it. I'm sure that's why they have public chess forums. Thing and be like, brah, think about what you're about to do there. Yeah, oh my god, that's straight up what that is. On one hand, I appreciate that they straight up were trying to manage their own economy outside of the banks and all that. But, yeah, I don't know how much you've kept up too. I, I do have that slight twinge of uh, capitalist insanity where it's another one of those things where I get that it's not the best, but it's, it's kind of like a republic where it's still a free market. Yes, you have rich douchebags, but they, even rich people can go broke overnight, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, even stonemasons can blow all their money on fucking hookers and blow and cracking hookers, whatever. Yeah, it, it's very much like, until, yeah, if you got a better idea, sure, but in a way, communism is, again, not really a step backwards. It's very much a temporary, like, emergency powers to the economy, whatever. It's like putting a big leg brace. At, you break your leg, you put a big fucking brace on it, and you wait for the doctor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right? How long you gotta wait for that doctor? And in a way, I guess that's what a lot of these wannabe kind of communists don't realize. They're thinking of it like paradise. Like, no, buddy, I'm sorry. Yeah, it... it if it was done properly, etc., yeah, do it once uh, for real this time kind of thing. I'm sure that's a joke in Russia. Yeah, we do it for once real this time, whatever. <laughs> yeah, right, they got, they got a funny sense of humor. Yeah, right, oh, come on. Anyway, yeah, where the fuck were we? Soviet, cra yeah, we'll get to that. Just saying, that's all coming up in, in that, and... I'm mainly saying this to any, whatever, ger straight-up German professors who might actually, because, you know, I've 
whatever. All this shit's linked in the fucking in interwebs, the internets. And yeah, we, videos like this, that's how I discovered a lot of people still debating about this kind of shit. Uh, yeah, you don't think some straight up German professors are gonna sit there smoking corncob pipes, drinking Master Huntsman fucking Jägermeister and pontificating history and philosophy and yeah, straight up those motherfuckers are gonna be doing that. So yeah, just laying it out. Yeah, in case you're worried about me going too crazy. They already knew. They've seen the coat of arms. They've seen the USSR Russian rapist. They've seen the motherfucking, yeah, God, God damn John Wayne. Yeah, really, man, I live in North America. At this point, this is the thing they might even be thinking. My God, we're about to get into a big war where... You know, World War II, Soviet Union, and USA, and USSR, those are the big, those are the good guys. Right straight up, World War II, the war of the Nazis. Yeah, yeah, you want to start bitching about America, Russia, communism, motherfucking Chinese communism? Motherfucking USA, USSR, the two biggest republics, the two biggest mafias, motherfucking Rome squared cubed. Yeah, those are the good guys. Yeah, right. On oh, according to you guys, y'all. Yeah, and then everyone else is like, wait a minute. Yeah, I like all these people. I don't. Some, someone's thinking, man. This is like the, the yeah, the most like happy uh, person who likes it. the happiest man in the world who likes everyone. Fucking god of war who can't stop talking about everyone dying. Except the Persians. No, I like the Persians. They're just, yeah, when a Persian person gets agitated, uh, yeah, I, I gotta, whoa, 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 yeah, I gotta double check everything when that happens. <clears throat> so yeah, anyway, we covered this last time when uh, the Russia, the, the eastern flank of this whole war happened fairly quickly. The, the thing is, it still divided our armies, and you gotta realize, yeah, back in the fucking day, bud... Back in the days of carrier pigeons, and yeah, cars are like Mr. Burns' cars and planes. Yeah, no. Mo the, the, the only real mode of modern transit is trains. There's one major tra train line in each country, basically. France might have a couple more. Again, France has a bit more of an um, <clears throat> infrastructure in that sense, where, yeah, they probably got two or three train lines. Ooh, yeah, they got some, they got taxis. There's a little story of the, the it's their propaganda. Yeah, every taxi in the city uh, got as many soldiers to the front as they reasonably close to the front within, you know what I mean, a publicity stunt. Yeah, whatever. I don't know if the government paid them little bonds or certificates or whatever. Yeah, little things like that. Most of us, all I'm saying is that's as good as it gets. France probably had the most convenient uh, method of transit in that sense. And even they, yeah, ask the Baker sp fucking spy master who had to run back and forth. Literally Google man, master Google man. What the fuck is going on out there, Francais? And yeah, I know someone's going to think, oh, we had trucks by then and some tanks. And yeah, that was, <laughs> yeah, yeah. What, a couple tanks, yep. Yeah. Yeah, the Americans aren't the only ones with tanks. They even buy some French tanks, but no, the, the Americans are the ones who have a fucking armor division. Yeah, yeah, like ca cavalry. Yeah, when the U.S. cavalry shows up, tradi okay, yeah, here's a neat little juicy tidbit of uh, yeah, whatever. <coughs> yeah, whatever. It's yeah, if you're into if you're here wanting to talk about war. I doubt the Heisenschroger's right. Yeah, but fucking lighten up the corn cob pipe for this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to hear what I got to say about cavalry? This is Ulans or some dope cavalry. All it means is mounted infantry. So remember, infantry is just a foot soldier. Fucking footman, yeah, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Guy on foot, guy, soldier, guy with the gun, yeah, low, the, the private, whatever. If you are a soldier, guy on foot, with any weapon, your fucking hand, you can be straight up Zulu motherfucker slapping someone to death with your bare fucking hands. You are still an infantry. You could be a straight up legionnaire, praetor, imperator, slapping motherfuckers with your hands, if you're really good at it. Now, yeah, as I light my corncob pipe... <laughs> <clears throat> you probably heard contradicting things, or, you know, Rome is, doesn't have many cavalry, or, you know, it, it will, yet you always see us with the cavalry, even Greeks had cavalry, this is the thing, it was the quote-unquote shock troops, I know how that sounds, yeah, 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 you're, you're in Mars's fucking war college, but yeah, you're, you, you're better at war than the Dutch Count of Flanders, even the fucking Queen Bitch of Sparta's getting, yeah, remember digging out trenches for your homeboys? Yeah, right, no, you guys can deal with this shit at that point, they were Imperator, yeah, 
This is a delicate game. Delicate, delicate game here. Before we get to fucking Alpasaw and Moscow jump. Right, oh god. Alright, alright. No, don't worry. Yeah, I don't know. If it seems like, wait, if you like all these people, there's a few unresolved areas. No? A Mr. Kim Jong un North Korea, North Ireland, fucking North Israel nuke dome. Pretty much. That's the trinity of triangulated bullshit. And I'm just saying, yeah, first guy to be like, yeah, I don't doubt some crazy bitch in North Korea is like fucking all trying to get this shit on. Yeah, right? Look what I found, guys. Crazy uh, Mario and Luigi's pizza show. I, whatever, man. Whatever it takes, get a fucking nuke dome on it. Oh, yeah, here they go. They're like trying to build a nuke dome. Guys, all right, I know. I told you, I am crazy. Doesn't mean I'm wrong, bitch. You gotta prove me wrong. Yeah, Heisenschroger's ready to prove me wrong. He's busting out the textbook on this one. And he, he's making a little side note. Yeah, yeah, North Korea, North Ireland, North Israel. That's phase one. <laughs> no, no, yeah, you, well, yeah, anyone's still thinking about the booze and the news. It's like, buddy, we might need some Jews to help us with this. Yeah, I'm with the, the fucking Jew mafia. Oh, you don't think? Yeah, they got a straight gypsy Egyptian fucking mafia of jackals rolling up on this shit. Well, yeah, right? <laughs> Could take everything. Well, yeah, what's next? Pope Don Diablo. Yeah, that's last. What, what about the Empire Strikes Back? What's the middle? What goes between those two things? The Shadow Factory, comrade, in Canada. Fucking Santa's Kremlin nuke factory. Bruh, I don't doubt, yeah, the States was hoping this shit goes right and tight. Boys, don't worry, John Wayne, motherfucking Imperator's on it. I think I've said this before, it's the Cold War battlefront. You know, of Cold War Two. yeah, we'll get there. Yeah, you know, we'll get the politics, yeah, whatever, we'll get to there. Fucking John Wayne, crusty old grandpa's waiting to hear about the goddamn, the actual Navy fight. Yeah, he knows what's up. Great, fucking great grandpa rising up from the grave with his oldest bottle of fucking whiskey anyone's ever seen. It's fucking older than Giza. It's older than the Great Pyramids. Yeah, fucking hell, the Pharaoh hadn't seen this shit before. I don't doubt even most Americans understand, well, if you guys fought each other, yeah, remember the Civil War, brah? Yeah, remember the Italian Gladiator 77 Civil War at Luigi's? Yeah, yeah, rah, brah. Yeah, 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 sometimes you gotta assassinate the fucking Emperor. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, yeah, the New Republic indeed, motherfucker. <laughs> you get it. His patriotism transcends nationalism, and yeah, it really does. It really fucking does. Yeah, I don't know. As, as shitty as America, oh yeah, we'll get to America's problems, but they they're the cl they got the closest. They they did the, I don't know. I have to say the best job of benchmarking. Straight up George Washington rolling off the monitor dreadnought, slave man running in the Dutch Indies. Right again, even Julius Caesar got assassinated by my fucking Cicero and some dude bras. Yeah, they're not the king. Not unless you're the king of Sparta. We're not there yet. Yeah, okay, sorry. Blah, blah, blah. I said we'll get to politics later. What about the battles? Man, even Krusty Grandpa with his, the oldest bottle of Jack Daniels in the universe. Oh, he cracked it open. He knows. Yeah, what else do you want me to say, Grandpa? Okay, as far as fighting the Russians, and you already know, they're already Soviet uh, comrades. They're just not socialists yet. Yeah, straight up Soviets. Yeah, straight up Mafamias, whatever. Yeah, right? The... Germans are already leading towards National Socialism, they just haven't made a flag yet. Yeah, yeah, sorry, Hitler's still a fucking, uh, not even an Ulan, a reserve, right? Straight up reserve, backing up the Ulans, right? They, yeah, they, they got some right and tight, so they, I don't know, there was a few little clips of, I'm, I'm not sure, I'm sure a lot of it's recreation stuff, but a lot of it's also remastered footage, painstakingly frame by frame remastered. Um, yeah, occasionally it's worth it, right? And no, it looks like, I don't want to say a modern boot camp, just, yeah, of course, professional. Whatever they, yeah, goddamn crazy Vikings in the woods. When they do something, they're very professional about it with their corncob pipes and brandy. Oh my god, where is the particle-shattering fist man of the helmet club? I don't know, I mean... I'm thinking not not too many countries do this. I've heard the French talk about the French Foreign Legion. It's kind of like, yeah, give us all your passports and IDs, and you, yeah, we'll feed you. It's kind of like, um, yeah, similar to Rome. Yeah, anyone can immigrate and join the Legion, basically. You just got to give up your other nationalities. You know exactly why. If, yo, Heisenschroger, yeah, the Persians? Yes, the Persians. Literally. Just in case 
Punjabi man rolls by, and the Persian mafia fucking Xerxes dildo ring comes around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one thing. The sketchy motherfucking 9-11 territory going on there. We gotta... Yeah, buddy. Punjabi man is more than welcome to chill here. Yeah, we'll get some gold curtain rod all up in this shit. As long as you're not bringing Xerxes dildo ring into Rome. That's all we ask. And I don't doubt the yeah, billion Persians in India are ready. Yeah, the, yeah. I don't think we have to worry about a Xerxes dildo ring no more. No, straight up. But no, uh, yeah, no, Grandpa's... I'm giving Grandpa some time. You got anything else to tell me about these trench... We'll get... No, there, I got a few cards up my sleeve for the trench war. This is kind of like that, um, <clears throat> you know... <clears throat> God damn it, trivia game we played with the Scottish Synagogue. But Arturius and our King Arthur spinning that round table around until y'all are confused as fuck and end up saying, We're all just British, mate. God damn motherfucking British Mafia going on. There you go, boys. We'll get to North Ireland. Just, yeah, don't forget. They're not aliens. They're Irish people. Yeah, right. Talk to the Irish first. Straight up. Talk to the Irish first. We'll get there. So, yeah, we did cover this last time. Capping it off now in case Grandpa just woke up. Whatever. Yeah. The Russian army clashed into most of the Austro-Hungarian border and the German. Yeah, this is the thing. They fanned out all over the place. I'm going to bring in one little tangent. Yeah, uh, fucking Uttam Gangam style. Yeah, yeah, it's irrelevant going in. My fucking StarCraft Legionnaires. Yeah, right? World champions of StarCraft. Okay. Straight up Silver League. I don't know. Average Joe, like, whatever. Punk in, yeah, straight up punk teenager in fucking Uttam Gangnam style Bananaville. Fucking South Korea. Ut yeah, you know what's up, kid. Goddamn American nations. Right? We might need their help with North Korea. Exactly. All pertinent. I'm setting up my fuck. I'm figuring out what I got to work with. How many mafias we got on the board. Where the fuck is Pope Benedict and Lattis and Ben Deer? We're almost there, buddy. Yeah. No, no, no. We're not at Israel yet. That's complicated. Right? Some straight fucking crazy shit we got to talk about with some... some yeah, yeah. God, I, no, I mean, not even about the hat, man. I don't even know what these crazy pipes these guys are. Hookahs, yeah, straight up smoking some hookahs or something. We'll figure those guys out later. No, yeah, Grandpa, he's like, yeah, no, I got nothing else. Other than, no, you probably got a basic sense of it. No, this ain't... This ain't the, the, you know, this isn't like Rambo where he's fighting the communists. Okay, now he's laughing, yeah. Some British guy in a fucking brown uniform with an AK, yeah. Uh, you've seen it. We've all seen a British guy trying to dress up like a Russian man. We, uh, the Kursk, a motherfucking submarine captain, goddamn James Bond, Scottish, straight up Scottish synagogue running a n Russian nuclear sub. They always pick these Brits. British actors to play Russians. I don't know. Is it how hard is it to find a Russian actor? Oh, I guess he doesn't speak English. Remember Arnold? Yeah, I go to Austria, find some more Arnold voice mimickers. I don't fucking know, man. I guess one thing I can help uh, point out to for Grandpa or whatever. Yeah, if you can correct me, man. Straight up, fucking John Wayne, that shit. Yeah, right. You know what's up. All I'm saying is <clears throat> those those elite royal Russian guards of yeah the the guys in the white coats straight up the white coats that's a small yeah that's a small number and they're they're good but they're not quite like navy seals yeah they're not best of the best they're best yeah they're guys who didn't make best of the best but relatively speaking if the whole army was that well equipped they probably would have won but, yeah, 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 they could only afford to equip a small portion of the army the way the whole army should have been. And I know some people get a little confused thinking about it, thinking, wait a minute, 500,000 of those guys? Yeah, no, maybe like 10,000, a couple thousand of those guys and 500,000 motherfuckers with sticks, fucking shovels, whatever, anything, everything. And that's the thing, a lot of them didn't have weapons, a lot of them didn't have any supplies, food, nothing, they're foraging, hunting, yeah, we got basic supplies, we got our ammunition, yeah, right, that's it, straight up, fucking, I know, right, and that's, it's what, it's kind of like sinking the, the, the redcoats, where it's like, yeah, I can't even think of a way to mock them. That's, you probably, yeah, you're probably thinking, oh man, that's some deep reverence. It is deep reverence. I can't even think of a way to make fun of them. They went down hardcore, some straight Imperator, not quite Praetor. So yeah, this is where I uh, might want the help of Otum Gangnam style. Yeah. 
hey, if you're one of these uh, StarCraft punks from South Korea, yeah, straight up, imagine this is a game of StarCraft. All right, now, <clears throat> oh, man, well, I, yeah, I'm trying to think. I got, I used to know all these off the top. Yeah, kid, I played this game when you were a sperm. I wasn't that, yeah, straight up, I wasn't that good, but I played this game when a Kim Jong-il was in that shit. Yeah, straight up, kid. Yeah, right. It's all good. Yeah, you've seen the references. Come on, man. Yeah, I know the story. I know the lore. I got through most of the campaigns. I had to cheat through, like, the end of the Brood War campaigns. I beat all the... Yeah, right. I'm not that good at multiplayer. Oh, yeah, now he's laughing. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's like the hardcore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't handle the... Yeah, straight up motherfucker. Hey, I'm good at, like, turn-based strategy. I'll kick your ass in Heroes of Might and Magic or some shit. Oh, yeah, careful. He's gonna bust that out next. Anyway, now you get it. There's a big distinction here. Fucking, your colony is under attack. I don't know, your buildings are under attack, you get it? Yeah, no, he's like, no, 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 that, that's not happening. Fucking beep, 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 where's the carrier pigeon telling you the hive cluster is under attack? Straight up, carrier pigeons flying and telling you the fucking hive cluster's under attack. No, this all comes back to the whole cavalry thing. Yeah, yeah, I know, yeah, I am a little scatterbrained. I'm trying to keep shit together. Keep it together, keep it together, keep it together, right? Yeah, absolutely. So, <clears throat> yeah, you got no mini-map. You can't chat with your allies. Yeah, right? I mean, whatever. You can walk to his house, straight up. You can put AFK and walk to his fucking house and talk to him. Or throw a pigeon, or a attach a letter to your dog. Yeah, Straight up. Ma oh, mail. Snail mail. Mail a letter to him and wait. For yeah, that's about where you're at, brah. And that's a good day. So you get it. You can't really tell when this is happening. And even if you had to... Yeah, you're thinking, oh, you and your you and your brah who have the, the, the system. Yeah, fucking hell. Who's the pocket player? Who's the flank? Yeah, who's doing air units? Who no. Fucking Kaiser Wilhelm and Crazy Hat Man. Yeah, Crazy Hat Man wants to kill everyone in Serbia. He's boot fucking Bosnia. Revenge man of the mafia fucking godfather shit going on. And Kaiser Wilhelm, if you ask Mr. Heisenschroger, I'm sure they have a collection of jokes about Kaiser and his Wilhelm. And realistically, I I'd say it's, you know, <laughs> on one hand, yeah, it's hard to blame him for fucking this up. Yeah, like, you don't just want to completely ignore your that flank. Yeah, I would recommend, you know, a sm it might be unfortunate if I had to leave a garrison here. Yeah, yeah, maybe a few thousand soldiers. Maybe 10,000 soldiers. A million so Yeah, he, he kind of just, whatever. Yeah, half the army here, half the army there. In a way, I don't doubt. Yeah, I'm speculating hard. I need some straight-up fucking German professors of the Corncob Pipe Academy. Oh, yeah. What can you? What do you think? I'm guess. I'm guessing you guys hold him very. It's kind of like King Henry, straight up King Henry. Yeah, we all like to make fun of the man, but realistically, all right. Yeah, it's 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 yeah. When it's hard to imagine him doing much better given the circumstances, and realistically, he did step down without too much fuss, as far as I understand. When when the ultimatum was imperator. Ma fucking understood that what Imperator meant and said, "All right, you want me to answer a phone? Goddamn, God. yeah." He at least had the grace to not start a civil war in Germany. Yeah, he could have straight up. I'll give him the credit for that. He could have made shit worse. Just no, but he yeah, he knew better. Yeah, yeah. You gonna run back to the Queen's flappy vagina? No, they knew too. They straight up knew by then. They knew what a mafia was. They're like, buddy, yeah, your mafia is. You're you're you already kicked out of your mafia, bud. You're in ours now. You want to go to Switzerland? Yeah, right. Yeah. Whereas with us, it was very much black hand master assassinating in the in the millions and millions of dollars. Yes, yes, that was well. And remember, fucking Mr. Burns Senior. Yeah, fucking ten heart attacks coming round the mountain when they come. Yeah, motherfucker's got to having a heart attack every five minutes. I don't doubt. So yeah. That was bound to happen either way. We all knew that. That's why we had to cap off the Master Huntsman Lord of Ladies straight up first. That's why my fucking Heisenschroger's drinking some Master Huntsman right now. I do not fucking doubt. Yeah, you guys got some Master Huntsmans too. I don't doubt it. There's a reason that shit's called Master Huntsman. Me, I'm speculating too. But yeah, tell me what you think. Corncob Pipe Academy of fucking the Vikings. Now. 
Yeah, grandpa's anything else? Yeah, right. No, he he's already done with. Yeah, no, broke ass motherfuckers. Yeah, pinching pennies on the die. Yeah, right. He already gets it. He already knows. Motherfucker, got to give some weapons to your boys. You gonna send them in naked? No, man. These ain't Zulu motherfuckers. Straight up, ain't no Zulu motherfuckers. They need weapons, they need supplies, they need ammunition, they need fucking clothing. Yeah, right. It's not even a luxury. I don't know if you've spent a long... I haven't been, like, homeless for long periods of time, but I've done some traveling where, yeah, you're in between whatever, you're camping, blah, blah, blah. Sleep, yeah, I've slept on park benches and shit. Eventually, if you don't shower or change your clothes for too long and you don't shave or anything, you'll start to get rashes everywhere. Yeah, think about it, fucking up your ass crack, fucking between your armpits, and yeah, you can't... It, it does eventually become physically crippling to where, you know, sanitation and hygiene... It's kind of like Rome. Yeah, what's your secret, Flanders? A goddamn bathroom, literally. The secret of the Roman Empire is a fucking bathroom. Heh. <laughs> Remember, best jokes are true. Yeah, Eisenschroger's like, no, oh, yeah, straight up, my fucking bathroom. Yeah, I'm sure they got some nice bathrooms in Germany. Oh, yeah, yeah, you don't think they keep that shit right and tight? Yeah, my God, man. Makes everything else a lot easier. Yeah, right? It's just, it's one of those things. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not saying we're the only people to ever do this. Um, Yeah, no, Aztecs had some crazy shit. Yeah, hydrothermodynamical engineers of some crazy motherfuckers. Yeah, ever... Think about it. Every civilization probably needs water, right? Yeah, kind of like Egypt with the Nile. If they didn't have water, they wouldn't have existed that long. So yeah, they all had to figure it out some way. I'm just saying, to make it like a mandate policy. Yeah, like straight up 911, or you know what I mean, your essential services. Yeah, your fire department, your police, your ambulance, and your goddamn sewage fucking man. Yeah, the garbage man. Straight up the motherfucking garbage man can. Sewage workers, fucking city, whatever. You need sewage, septic, clean water, motherfucking goddamn. And yeah, like I'm saying, of course, there's the snooty aspect, like, oh, these people don't shave or shower. Yeah, no, no, no. If you're not wearing any clothes and you got some, uh, yeah, the, there are natural ways around this, but as soon as you start wearing clothing and, and yes, yes, using vehicles and tools and what, yeah, depending on what direction you're going in life, I ain't going to tell no Zulu what to do. But yeah, if you're all going to be rolling around in your fancy velvet suits, yeah, you get it. Fucking, I'm sure you've had a rash before. I'm sure your fucking babies had a rash. Yeah, diaper rash. My God, you want to see some diaper rash all up in your army? Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, think about it, man. And yeah, to be fair, bringing it. Yeah, now, Grandpa, bringing it back around to the Allied or whatever your guys' front. Mr. Francais wearing the same boots for four years. You ever heard of trench foot? My fucking takes his boot off and it's basically liquid. Uh, yeah, I know, right? Like that would. Oh yeah. I have a weak sense of smell, and that would probably make me throw up if I saw that. I, yeah, I've seen some gory shit or in and around hospitals and different things. Yeah, yeah. Seen people dead. Yeah, yeah. Flatline, whatever. But no, man. Yeah. To see that motherfucker take his boots off. Yeah, yeah you, you've seen, like, on Mount Everest. Yeah, it's frozen. Yeah, 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 you can't really tell right away. I'm not saying, yeah, I'm sure it hurts, buddy. No, liquid bog, st you're in the sewer trench bog of piss fucking shit, and you take your boots off, and your foot is just a gangrenous sewage blob. Yeah, yeah it's, uh again, I can't, yeah, no, I can't even think of how to make fun of those guys. I'm making fun of whoever the fuck, the commanders, oh, the commanders, yeah. Getting back to the cavalry, and yeah, when it comes to straight up armor division, a cavalry is how it comes to punch through that line. Yeah, now Grandpa's dumb and double doubling up on the Scotch. Oh, buddy, whatever Texas whiskey of fucking the, the barley from Egypt, man. Goddamn Pharaoh busted this out. We know it. No, no, no. It, it's I don't know, man. I'm just saying. <clears throat> The, the, yeah, now that we've gone over the whole Russian situation, yeah, their, their one advantage, the one thing that had them kicking some ass in the millions or posing a serious threat, motherfucking white coats, motherfucking Cossacks, motherfucking la, la, yeah, the, they're Mongolians, but there's, there's, they're not Genghis Khan. Yeah, yeah, even the Chinese guy gets it, yeah. Back in the old days when the Mongolians were just pests, yeah, yeah, not the golden horde. I don't doubt, yeah, like I said, we were probably talking, I don't doubt I had to call a fucking some guy in Germany and be like, brah, this ain't Genghis Khan, because they've heard us go on about this shit, yeah, you don't doubt they've heard us go on and on about the Crusades and fucking everything. 
I had to tell a motherfucker, yeah, no, this ain't Mong, this ain't no Genghis Khan. The, yeah, I ain't saying, yeah, you, you get it. It was the closest thing they had. Their, their cavalry of guys with sticks and spears and guns and whatever the fuck they could get, steel, yeah, exactly. And yeah, some German cities did. German, Prussian, ooh yeah, here we can get shattering the ultranationalism. <clears throat> if you're one of, yeah, right, remember, from Slovene, the Vakia, comrade. I only know I'm more on the, the, the Latin douchebag side because I look like a Mexican cowboy. If you look more like a, a, you know, one of them, yeah, 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 right? You're looking more like one of them Vikings of the Corn Cob Pipe Academy. You know what's up. I'm just saying, something like, I don't know, Poland? Yeah, right? Poland is basically Prussia. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong, fucking straight-up professor of Germany. Yeah, he's, he's going to, yeah, he's making sure. Yeah, Prussia, yeah, Prussia, Russia, motherfucking, wi oh, now Grandpa's like, a, yeah, Kremlin nuke man, help me out here, fucking straight-up Darth Vader's Austrian Terminator mob. Yeah, he's like, come on, man, what what's the difference between a Prussian, a Russian, a fucking German, a Polish man? Poland? It's a lot of flat, open ground. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, boring, yeah, well, we're not there yet. Remember all these mountains? Yeah, I don't doubt some of you looking at this map. Yeah, why doesn't France scoot on in and out of yeah, the Alps, man? The motherfucking Alps, Switzerland. That's why I get uptight when people bitch about Switzerland. It's like, bitch, do you know about the Alps? Climb Mount Mordor and talk to the Swiss. I'm just saying... Yeah, 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 StarCraft guy gets it. Ooh, yeah, couple units can fly over there. What about everyone else? You using Tunnel Network? You got some motherfucking drop ships? You got some teleportation shit going on with the Taldarim? How do you get your army from A to B, motherfucker? No mini-map. Yeah, you throwing carrier pigeons around. Motherfucking dumbass motherfucker on the other team. Yeah, you're like, no, this is a nightmare game. You're coming out straight Bronze League. I don't doubt no Gangnam style understands this is a shitty game of Star. Starcraft going down. Anyway, yeah, no, no. We'll, we'll get back to the trenches there and how the cavalry... Yeah, no, this is it. Remember, mounted infantry. For a long time, yes, those cavalry. To clear up the whole matter with the Romans, yeah. Most of our legion was infantry. Most of the soldiers were also engineers. Cavalry, it's as much as you can reasonably get. Don't go overboard. You don't want nothing but cavalry. Yeah, what happens if you meet a phalanx, right? All, all you need are some spears. There's a philosophy to... Uh, yeah, this is probably straight out of Sun Tzu. So I don't doubt we benchmarked this from the motherfucker. Yeah. Hey, man, benchmarked it and fucked off at some point. You'll think some ghost mafia motherfuckers rolled up to steal something from Shijinko one day. Right. The... Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, motherfucking scissors... It's a metaphor that can be loosely applied to m many, many, many types of conflict. Yeah, military conflict. I mean, most a lot of strategy games are balanced around this sort of triangle. Think about it. Imagine playing rock, paper, scissors, but there's only rock and paper. Yeah, right, yeah no, you need at least three, right? Yeah, the game, to, I don't know, most people get it. Rock beats uh, scissors, scissors beats paper, and paper beats rock. Uh, yeah, when I was a kid, I used to be like, motherfucker, rock could fall through some paper. Yeah, no, the point is, A is good against B, B is good against C, C is good against A. <laughs> C is not good against B, yeah, yeah, right? Cavalry, infantry, artillery, yeah, however you want to weigh this shit out. We're talking heavy naval units, light naval units, subnautical motherfucking submarines, right? Not there yet, motherfucker. Yeah, you're about to turn that monitor dreadnought into a piece of garbage. Well, next time. No, no, no. Yeah, I know, I know. So if a lot of people are, yeah, this is where it gets crazy. Th this is where you become a straight fucking ghost ninja Spartan man of the fucking goddamn monitor dreadnought of George Washington up in the Shogunate. Yeah, whatever, right? Pimp slapping bitches and fucking Israel. Who knows? Oh, George Washington is just all over the map on this one. He's trying. Yeah, we're going to have to, you know, do, do a little... little uh flashback and flash forward here yeah ooh, a little, little uh this is where you really break out the corn cob pipes and shit yeah no straight up this is what heisen sugar was waiting for now he's cracking open the fucking master huntsman shit straight up yeah no okay so the philosophy of war with the klingons yeah no i don't doubt they want to benchmark anything they can out of this right 
But then, yeah, straight up, just like one of these mode corn cob pipe academy motherfuckers. Well, we can't just copy them. Yeah, yeah, we do have to come up with a different name. Yeah, it wouldn't be very original. Yeah, to just copy them. Yeah, right, right. What if we had to fight them again one day? Yes, we might need our own advantages. Indeed. Yes, yes, quite. God damn, motherfuckers. I don't know. You probably get that these these were the guys who told us not to go lizard man, right? Yeah, yeah. Who do you think was going all lizard man conspiracy on this shit? Before these motherfuckers were like, dude, yeah, 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 start start at the beginning, man, yeah, yeah, don't go lizard man on that shit, yeah, yeah, I don't doubt we pick that, you know, the general philosophy, it's very much a cornerstone of how we do things now, and ever since we met that, you know, the, the Viking corncob pipe academy. Anyway, uh, if you were looking at antiquity, yeah, yeah, back in the good old days, just as the quick flash, yeah, back in the old days of rock, paper, scissor, <coughs> A lot of ancient armies uh, were what you could call skirmishers. You'll hear this term a lot. Are those the spear-throwing guys from straight-up spear-chuckers from Age of Empires? Yeah, no, no, straight white proper British gentlemen spear-chuckers. Straight up. Yeah, yeah, no. Longbowmen, yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the most skeptical motherfucking angry mom with the haircut is straight up doing her hair right now trying to figure this shit out. No, she knows better. Right? Because, yeah, you're, you're better at war than the Count of Flanders, bitch. Yeah, goddamn. Motherfucker, she didn't even care that I called her a bitch. She's like, yeah, it was, yeah, exactly. Goddamn, motherfuckers. <laughs> right, Grandpa's getting lost. Still need to know about the Prussians. Oh, Grandpa. Yeah, the Prussians. Goddamn, who, which one's more Russian? It's the east side of Germany. Remember, Germany used to be a lot bigger. And, yeah, 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 as far as their native territory... I've mentioned this, yeah, quickly before we move on to, in case you missed it. Yeah, Germany's one of the very few, like, countries that is truly native. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, you know, Native Americans get it. Yeah, yeah, they are natives of Germany. That's, yeah, straight up, every native in the fucking North America gets it. Yeah, they're white natives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guess who found them? The caveman nukes. Yeah, we got our asses kicked by Vikings. Yeah, yeah, well, we both had a shitty time. I do not fucking doubt it, bud. Yeah, yeah, I ain't saying... Yeah, no, I straight up... Yeah, we've been trying to apologize for thousands of years, and they keep telling us not to be douchebags. Right? Whatever. Or not to be such a pussy. Fucking whatever, right? Exactly. God damn, how long do you think we've been doing this? <laughs> we're both trying to figure out what prussia is yeah poland all i'm saying is if you're polish means you're yeah yeah back okay back when slovenovakia was the slovakia and austria slovak of austria you would have been a prussian and prussian is eastern german it's their territory of horse it's where they get all their horses you know and guess why a bunch of big flat open land yeah right see this triangle yeah, yeah, who's better? Who's better at what? Woo, yeah, you're looking at those infantry going, yeah, there's a reason. It's straight up reason, motherfucking King of Sparta, Imperator rolling in with the spear, motherfuckers. Probably got the intuition that that wall of spears, yeah, yeah, cavalry don't like a wall of spears. And this is the thing, a horse. Yeah, yeah, we've, we've talked about this. The Mongolian motherfuckers know this now, and we're going to get into it with the tanks. Yeah, yeah. A horse has a mind of its own. That can be a great benefit. It can drive you home when you're wasted. Straight up. No drunk driving when you're on a horse. Well, fucking horses driving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But horses have instincts. Yeah, yeah. Horses have common sense. Horses don't want to charge to their death. And if they do, they're probably inbred. This is the thing. The better your horse is, the less likely it is to do something suicidal like that. Yeah, yeah. You want your horse? It depends how well you know the motherfucker. Yeah, are you straight up bender jihad crusading with this guy? Yeah, or is this a horse you got at the stable one day? Yeah, motherfucker don't know you. Yeah, hey, Mongolians get some people. Certain Ulans even, yeah. If you want to be master huntsman uh, horse lord, y you know, common sense. You gotta grow up with your horse. Yeah, yeah, most horse masters, um, yeah, I'm sure some snooty British dude who rides a horse around is, yes, of course. Indeed, you grew up with that horse. You know his name, you know which fucking hoof he scratches, god damn, it's like your, it's like a dog or a cat or whatever, yeah, I'm sure you love your dog or your cat, your bird, fucking carrier pigeon, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, it's like having a pet that you grew up with, part of the family, whatever. If it's some horse you got at a stable somewhere, it's a little different. Especially when it comes down to, hey, bro, you want to charge the fucking caveman nukes? 
Yeah, yeah. If you're if you and your horse are like competing with each other for who's more manly, it were right or who's more of a queen bitch of France or whatever. Yeah, then it might get near that. No, the, part of the advantage of having a tank that has no intelligence. Duh, duh, yeah, literally fucking whatever. It will it will crash into some bunker bust in hellfire because it has no instincts and has no intelligence. It, yeah, yeah, you have the intelligence and you can tell it to do whatever. We're not at drones yet, but you get the idea. Horses have their limit. This is the thing. Yeah, I, this is the, yeah, you're you're getting it. Even the elephants, my fucking Carthaginians. Yeah, guess what? Elephants are mammals. Mammals have instincts. They don't like to get burned and stabbed and fucking nuked with profanity. Of the, yeah, you don't even doubt it. Noise. Yeah, loud, sketchy, crazy shit. Yeah, yeah. When it comes down to fighting elephants, you create a fucking ruckus and scare them and uh, alarm them to the point where they trample their own units. A lot of times, this is what it came down to. Yeah, yeah, those Carthaginians with their elephants. Yeah, it's not the only... They got infantry, they got all sorts of shit. But when you spook the elephants, they, they start running around all over the place. My fucking goddamn Kim Jong-un shit show festival going on. Yeah, yeah, and then they just say, whatever, yeah, good luck managing that circus, god did just back up and wait till tomorrow, I wonder if they brought enough supplies, I know, right? Anyway, no, I want to na nail down, you're, I know you're thinking, ooh, yeah, who beats who and what, it depends on the situation. If you're in Poland, if you're in Prussia, if you're in the big flat open scape of rolling in on tanks, rolling in on horses, rolling in on a cavalry... Cavalry work best in the plains of Rohan, indeed in the fucking plains of Rohan. Artillery has an advantage up in the mountains and the Alps and shit. Ooh, I'm gonna climb my fucking Mount Mordor with some big my fucking bombs. You think a cavalry's gonna help? Yeah, yeah, boy, incorporate the land. Ooh, I know, Heisenschroger's like, goddamn, busting out the globe and shit with his protractor. Yeah, buddy. The terrain, the environment, has everything to do with whether you want cavalry, legionnaire, Arturius, or some motherfucking British longbowmen of the Congreve Monitor Dreadnought Division. And I don't doubt some British guys like, well, longbowmen are cheap to finance. Indeed, longbowmen are cheap to finance. Now you understand why the AK-47 kicked ass in the millions. Yeah, my fuck is cheap to finance. No more Ruskies sharing guns. My fucking straight out of Compton with this shit. Yeah, you guys get it. You guys already gotta get it, gotta good. Straight up. Where's the Pharaoh? Cleopatra can nuke these motherfuckers with some end bombs. We're rolling on this shit. Okay. I know, the professor's like, God damn, kids, sorry, man, God damn it. I know, right? There are more professional professors somewhere. I don't know what the fuck those guys are doing. Yeah, no, he's like, you know what, that would probably be more difficult. Yeah, who's easier to deal with? My fucking Professor Heisenschroger of the Corncob Pipe Academy. Yeah, Master Google, man, I'm sure. Yeah, fucking now he's laughing. Yeah, you can always pause the video and cut out this part. And Ooh, yes, yes, let's take this piece and this piece and this piece and use that for, yeah, straight up diagram display of whatever. My fucking yeah 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 exactly this is the price yeah it's instead of charging you money i charge your sanity <laughs> there we go how about that <laughs> i guess i actually need one of my disclaimers yeah no you guys are free to benchmark the shit out of this yeah no at least in the the corncob pipe academy i might want some kind of you know <laughs> no straight up whatever anyone can use this for their shit just you know you say you found it, this is, you know, straight out of the fucking whatever, Mario and Luigi's Pizza, that's where you found this, that's basically all you'd have to say, I'm sure they get it, yeah, yeah, yeah right, who's gonna, yeah, who's gonna question you at that point, yeah, you wanna go talk to Mario or Luigi, fucking which one's in Sicily, which one's in Tuscany, I don't doubt they have some dumb joke like that at this point, yeah, fucking Vinny or Tony, yeah, good luck, which one is which, but that's very much as opposing anyone who wants to ask them about it, yeah, yeah, well, you wanna go find Vinny or Tony? All right, Gangnam Style, time's up. Yeah, yeah, right. The the infantry in in many, yeah yeah. yeah. This you might be thinking. Well, okay, wait a minute. The, 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 those infantry in the middle there, they can fight both, right? They can block arrows with the with the shield. They can stab horses with the spears, and remember, there's a heavy psychological aspect to it. That scene in Lord of the Rings. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna call some straight bullshit on this. Oh yeah, I don't doubt it. Okay, that scene where the Rohan cavalry just charge. I get that Gandalf, yeah, sure. Gandalf is doing something. Yeah. Thing is, they don't explain it. Yeah, in any situation like this. I don't care what you're depicting. 
Yeah, you saw 300, right? Yeah, it wasn't historically accurate, but I knew what the fuck was going on, right? And you're thinking, dude, yeah, yeah, there's too much. What, are we going to get Tom Bombadil up in here with George Washington? No, get the, yeah, right now they're fucking laughing. No, no, no. You probably get it. Cavalry, I don't know what kind, yeah, if your horse is, you probably get it. I don't know. A horse that will do that? You can't rely on a whole army of horses doing that when you gotta do that, unless Gandalf is gonna use some magic, whatever. That would spook the horses, right? Are they used to this Gandalf magic? No. They ain't never seen this shit before in their life, right? Real, get real with this shit. That would spook the shit out of all these horses, and they would just, yeah, right? I don't know. You probably get it. They're... Horses, I'm sure they have some attitude. Yeah, I'm really getting penitus oculatus into the mind of a horse now. Imagine being, yeah, yeah, straight up, get real with this. Imagine being a horse back in the day of like, yeah, a knighter. You're the most biggest badass motherfucker around. And I, they're smart enough, like they're not brilliant, but yeah. They, eh. I know some people actually make fun of horses for being dumb, like... I, I get this. I can laugh at this too. People who tame horses, I mean, yeah, yeah. They're like, oh, they're they're scared of each other. Or they startle each other basically because they're you know narrow. So yeah, again, they're not brilliant. They're just yeah, yeah, whatever. Aren't they like a symbol of ego or something? Yeah, I'm sure they got enough going on to feel some like king shit of the universe. Yeah, king of Sparta up in here or what? It's your fucking horse, buddy. And again, that's why it has, yeah, your relationship with your horse. I'm sure any Ulan or fucking Mongolian would tell you or fucking, yeah, hospital or night of the fucking crusade in Jerusalem. My fucking Bindur Jihad Salahuddin would tell you all about his horse's fucking, yeah, which hoof does he scratch, bud? Which one is he gonna lean on? Yeah, is that guy really that tall, or are we just standing in an angle right now? Yeah, yeah. Remember, uh, remember, Yakov, that horse was doing half the math for you. Now that you're riding around nuclear subs, yeah, yeah, you gotta do, you gotta do all the work now. So yeah, I don't know. It's a complicated relationship, yeah, between the knight and his horse. However you want to look at it. And, and, yeah, that includes both people, yeah. If either of you decide this is a bad idea, if either of you panic or ch chicken out, or yeah, it's bound to happen, bud. Uh, he remembers, yeah, th that's a joke about horses. They remember shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they remember if you got lost. Yeah, yeah, you got lost here last time. I'll decide which, there's, yeah, yeah, little things. Like, you know. Usually they'll listen to you unless they know you don't know where you are. Yeah, we got lost here last time. I'll do it this time. Shit like that, right? Again, yeah, I'm sure you get it. So even some straight up Ulan, Mongolian, whatever. Yeah, best like uh, horse lords of Rohan. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. How would the horse know that? Yeah, you know, you get it. Gandalf is going to. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Ain't no fucking Gandalf Kaiser Wilhelm coming in on this shit. And yeah, storming into a trench like that, neither of these motherfuckers wants to do that. The Cossacks were smarter than that. Yeah, I know, they're crazy, but they're crazy like a fox. Yeah, 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 I know. They'll do it if they think they're going to gain something. Yeah, no, this ain't no Moscow jump. Most of these armies were reliant. They, had the, they all had their, yeah, cavalry. That was the thing, right? And it's like a lot of these territories they used to fight over. Napoleon, yeah, yeah. Again, Prussia, Poland used to be a, yeah, ooh, yeah. Land of the horse lords of Eastern Germany. It was quite a wealthy country until fucking goddamn oh, World War One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Prussia is still a, a country here. I know. I'm sure someone was waiting for it. I don't know. It's well. I'm getting to it now that it's relevant. Yeah, yeah. It's one of those things. I don't know. I'm not Prussian. Yeah. If you're Polish, tell me all about the Prussian. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. I want to piss that bitch off. Right. Yeah. No. Exactly. Exactly, man. You know what's up. Anyway, now, now that you're all, now that even the British Mafia is less uh, uh, ultra-nationalist, starting to get damn near patriotic about being British, oh no, straight up, yeah, I know, they gotta hide that in their end bomb room of England, turn the fans on, straight up, fucking straight shadow factory on that shit, shadow factory of caring about Britain, I know, right, careful guys, get hung off the Tower of London, yeah, no, no, now that you guys are better at this. Yeah, remember, Russia, yeah, used to be like a satellite state of the dildo master of Britain. Yeah, it was just another pr province of Britain, basically. Yeah, you know, whatever, the white part of Russia. I'm just saying. 
yeah, yeah. Again, Viking Mongolians. The, the Mongolian Cossacks, they're, you know, we notice the difference when just in how they these motherfuckers ride. Yeah, straight up. They won't deny it. I'm a straight rider. Yeah, basically, motherfucker. What else am I going to tell? Yeah, what else am I going to tell the Legionnaire Centurion? But they won't deny these straight rider motherfuckers. That's basically what I'm going to tell this guy before we figure out. Yeah, that guy didn't shave yet yeah straight up i'm sure most of you get it now yeah yeah prussia not dutch niddly diddly flanders it's a name some guy came up with for the fucking one dildo ring to rule your balls whatever it, it no yeah 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 oh here comes highs and schroger you know but he's busting out the straight encyclopedia on this shit i don't doubt that was some name you guys had yeah i don't doubt yeah russia prussia i don't yeah kind of like the netherlands yeah, the Dutch Netherlands, it's the end of the map. Yeah, it's the end of w the Black Forest, whatever. We haven't bought, yeah, we haven't been on the scouting mission yet. Base. That's what they would say. We would say, oh, there's nothing beyond the Dutch Netherlands, brah. There's not supposed to be nothing beyond the Dutch Netherlands. These motherfuckers are like, we haven't drawn this map yet. Yeah, because, you know, cartography of the naval shit going on, yeah. Oh, yeah, we'll get to this. I'm sure you guys are waiting. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I remember... Been joking around a little bit, yeah. We trust me, we've realized, yeah, yeah, the value of a navy, yeah, 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 big time. Why do you think I'm going? Yeah, we'll get into it. Yeah, the navy's coming up next. For now, just eliminating any other bull. Yeah, coming back to the trenches, and you get how all these cavalry are useless. Yeah, I know you get it. The only place the cavalry were useful, Zaruski. This is what I mean. He's not just flailing a dildo, he's just, not, whatever, he's doing his best and he's, whatever, he's dildo assassinating his, yeah, whatever, man, he's doing what he can. Normal guy playing a normal game of chess, unfortunately, he was outmatched. Yeah, right, yeah, whatever, man, yeah, yeah, and unfortunately, he didn't have enough carrier pigeons, you know, even fucking Utham Gangnam style gets it, if that motherfucker had a straight up uh, heads up display, yeah, if he had the radar and the, yeah, yeah, no, 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 we probably, if, if it was you commanding that army, we would have lost, no, no, it was you running around with carrier pigeons, mother, yeah, your carriers, motherfucking carrier pigeons, motherfucker, basically, yeah, 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 no radar, no, no text, the motherfucker points at a map, and you know, they go, I don't doubt they were fanning all over the place, and yeah, I don't blame Germany for going to defend their border. I Like I said, we, we, we crippled the bulk of the army, but the Germans still suffered, you know, lost several, a lot of Prussia got sacked and raided and rushed, straight up Russian rapisted. Yeah, yeah, remember when we thought, we've been over this, we all do it, okay, Jesus Christ, we all do it. Yeah, that's what the French guy was saying about the Germans when they came in. I thought these were sophisticated scientists. Straight up science of warfare, motherfucker. It's quite sophisticated with these motherfuckers. Oh, and even they're waiting. Yeah, they still want to hear the, the, the old, incredibly old school version. Yeah, okay. In my opinion, skirmishers... Remember, these cavalry are useless. The American Armor Division Cavalry, oh, nah, that's going to save the day. Remember, you, each of these things can be upgraded. Yes, infantry have indeed been upgraded, my friend. Uh, archers, what do you, I mean, guys have guns now. Yeah, artillery, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. In, in my mind, a lot of um, a common warfare can be boiled down to this. Sure, there's more shit now, but no, so much of it. I don't doubt most, you know whatever officers of most armies would say yeah yeah i'm on the, i got the right idea but i'm sure you could master dildo assassinate this shit better than i could straight up drop the nuclear end bombs with the pharaoh on there oh straight up black fucking colonel of the yeah you don't think black colonel is gonna do that shit muff whatever you goddamn mexican colonel's gonna be yeah anything motherfucking governor of china who used to... Yeah, I stop rambling. No, yeah, dude, we do this to them all the time. He's just... I'm giving him time to get another drink. <clears throat> Indeed, I do think. Think about the skirmisher. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah no, they know. I, I just don't... Yeah, I don't like to boast about that shit. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. Remember, you were the ones who told us not to go lizard man. Yeah, let's get to the opposite of the lizard man is the, the slinger. I don't know. Remember me talking about how Sparta was like the first military academy? 
Oh, I know. Yeah, oh, yeah. There's been armies. There's been the hardcore armies. There's been straight up motherfucking mafia, Mexican mafia, the fucking pharaoh. I'm talking. Yeah, academic study of warfare. Mm, yeah, 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 and I know how that sounds. Uh, yeah, I don't doubt. Right? We're trying to figure this shit out. We all we all got little secrets. Yeah, yeah. I need to figure out some of the Sun Sao Su secrets. Goddamn motherfucker. Yeah, right. Right. We all need to know this shit. I'm not saying we're the best. It's just, of, of all these Western militaries, I'm sure you get it. It all started here. Motherfucking Napoleon says, let's do this better. Yeah, motherfucking, no, Genghis Khan says, let's do this better over in China, right? So, yeah. My God. It, it, professional soldiers, basically. No, and I'm sure most people get this. A lot of, you know, back in the day, a lot of wars were, again, kind of... Not short-term affairs. Yeah, there was a lot of war, but each war was fairly short. Yeah, the idea of a drawn-out stalemate campaign like this, even with the Persians, it was like b several battles, you know, it was very much like a campaign, but I don't know. Yeah, the stalemate was yeah, different. Yeah, no, what I'm talking about is, I don't know. I'm sh yeah, one of them's trying to get it too. I don't doubt the Heisenstroger is trying to... You got some crazy German word for this shit. I don't doubt it, guys. No, he knows too. Yeah, the skirmisher came first, which is artillery. That's the most basic form of artillery. Don't, yeah, we'll get to archers eventually. Once infantry have rifles, artillery turns into a cannon, motherfucker, and the horse turns into a tank. Oh, yeah, the navy shit is laid. Yeah, that, yeah, we'll get there. There's a triangle involved in there. Yeah, yeah. Straight up triangle. What I tell you about the PSYOPs Delta unit, bitch. CEOPs? I don't think it's C. Yeah, yeah. Someone told me, though. Some of these letters are pronounced with C, but then I think, well, pi, what about P? Yeah, exactly. I'm just going to start sounding like a crazy motherfucker. Yeah, I know. This is the Latin douchebag version. Yeah, you don't think there's some straight Greek patricians that laugh at us every time we talk about this shit? <laughs> oh, my God. It's like Jerry Springer. Yeah, something like that. Straight up Jerry Springer on, on this shit. Oh, my God. Yeah, we're taking it too far. <clears throat> Why the skirmisher first? Because it's the cheapest. Yeah, straight up, like the longbowman, like the AK. Yeah, 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 it's cheap. Cheapest to the cheap, motherfucking cheap. And you gotta realize, a lot of these guys come out of, again, are they professional soldiers? What does that mean? You get real. Latin's as simple as it gets. My profession, my job. What is your job, sir? Yes, my job is baker, yeah, yeah, yeah. sniper, spy master, whatever. Yeah, that's a combination. No, no, no. Career soldier, as in my job is soldier. That's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You make me food and I will protect your farm. Yeah, 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 right? It's an old idea. Yeah, this is the thing. Yeah, armies have been around a long time. Soldiers have been around a long time. Even, even professional soldiers, like the fucking Pharaoh's Mafia, no joke. Yeah, his, whatever, his jackal guards, his priests, his priesthood, straight up. But, you get it, a lot of armies weren't. Yeah, 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 a lot of wars were very much like... The king, yeah, goes to attack a city, and yeah, he, I won, bitch, it's my city now. Yeah, the war's over, yeah, I kiss my ass or lick my boot, whatever. A lot of wars were like that, and usually, yeah, everyone grab whatever. Rich people already have swords. Yeah, people who are, you know, quote-unquote warriors, whatever. That, that's like a, whatever, self-career soldier. A guy who already has a bunch of crazy shit. The crazy guy who collects machine guns, whatever. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah buddy, you've already got a bunch of shit. Yeah, the guy who's got a souped-up fucking Humvee in his garage. Yeah, that guy's already rolling on this shit. I know, you got some golf clubs? Yeah, right, anything. Hey, go to the hardware store. Yeah, I don't doubt there's militias in between, but you know, you get what I'm saying. A lot of military started with this artillery, and the basic idea is, yeah, literally throwing rocks and sticks at someone and shooting quote-unquote missiles, yeah, before you get confused and we get into the anthrax, w, a missile is any projectile, any ballistic, yeah, oh, ballistic bullets, these are physics terms, again, Latin terms, it just means it's, it's moving from one place to another. If I kick a ball, a fucking football is a ballistic missile, literally. <laughs> but, to distinguish, a ballistic missile implies that it is, it is following a natural trajectory as opposed to propulsion or, or guided missiles. Yes, yes, guided missile where you're flying it around like a drone. We're not there yet. I'm just saying, yeah, these terms. I'm starting talking about missiles back in the old days. Like, what? Yeah, it just means we're throwing shit at you, basically. 
A lot of armies started like this. Yeah, now you see we're rolling out with some shields. Yeah, oh, get the horses, bitch. We got spears. Yeah, yeah, oh, I know they're laughing. Didn't last forever. But you can see why we founded our academy on, yeah, 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 we can counter your artillery and we can counter your cavalry, bitch. Oh, you got some straight up Imperator, motherfucking Praetor, Legionnaire soldiers that are better than these motherfuckers. Motherfucking million bender Persian mafia motherfuckers. Oh, brah. Who do you think caught up first? Yeah, exactly, man. No, no, no. Eventually, yeah, eventually, things always change. I'm sure any, yeah, fucking angry mom's got a new haircut now and she knows better. Yeah, yeah, you can't use the same shit forever, bitch. Yeah, well, you gonna be using the same fucking super soaker, bitch, yeah, right, no, no, fill that, yeah, unless you're gonna fill it with some anthrax, W, and now you're thinking, now you're, well, you got some bleach in, yeah, right, what can you make out of a weapon out of your house if you knew some crazy fucking bender jihad communists were gonna show up in ten minutes? <laughs> Uh, you can, yeah, make a bomb out of the bleach, anything. But yeah, now you're thinking. Now you're fucking thinking. And to clarify, yeah, yeah. Before you start thinking Knights of the Round Table, yeah, no, no, back it up another few thousand years, buddy. I'm not talking about the Duke of Flanders. I'm talking about, like, the, yeah, the fucking Pharaoh of Egypt and the King of Sparta and fucking Xerxes' dildo master of Persia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back in the fucking day, bud. Straight up Pontius Pilate in Jerusalem back in the day. Yeah, yeah, long before, like, the king of France, yeah, 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 uh, well, yeah, yeah, some people, like, oh, yeah, got it, yeah, yeah, right, what about, yeah, what about, by then, yeah, wealthy countries can afford knights, again, uh, cavalry, here's the thing, <clears throat> yeah, you might be thinking, okay, the first cavalry were, you know, light cavalry, they didn't have a lot of armor, they might have had some kind of thing, <laughs> Armor designed to stop those projectiles? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Light armor, like woven whatever, silk, fabrics, fucking, yeah, hemp, whatever, that will block the, the stones and, and the arrows. Yeah, yeah. And keep in mind, arrows, yeah, that technology. Ooh, yeah, yeah, it's a fine little nugget of gourmet cheese. Yeah, yeah, the, the fucking goddamn it. I know, right? Total brain fried. Fucking just the technology of arrows has changed a lot. Oh god, yeah, the Heisman Schroeder's getting serious now. It's like, yeah, watch me go crazy thinking about arrows. The tox, yes, toxins penetrating your soul. So we used to think of toxins as like an arrow piercing you. Yeah, 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 no. Arrows originally, yeah, straight up sharpened stick. Kind of like a spear. Oh yeah, no, we... Bodkin arrows? I don't know. Metal tips. Fletching. Fucking, yeah, yeah. Get the feathers on there to keep it flying straight so it doesn't just fling to the side, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. The technology progresses. Essentially, yeah, yeah. It starts with, with the skirmishers. The Cheap-ass motherfucking most of your... Yeah, of course you got some cavalry. The king has a horse. His son has a horse. Now you're laughing. Some knights. Yes, there's some warriors. The Jarl Duke Count of Flanders and his legion. Yeah, whatever. Everyone else? Motherfucking sticks and stones and a sling and... Yeah, ooh, a longbow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm a, I'm a British Mafia with the fucking longbowman division. Scottish synagogue, yeah, keep it quiet, guys, no, it's, yeah, yeah, that's it, though, you probably get it, that, yeah, whoever King Henry Duke of Flanders came up with that idea, empty the jails and turn them into conscripted longbowmen to fight the Franks, <clears throat> again, I can praise, the, you know, yeah, 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 the soldiers, if for indeed, yeah, of all things, no, the, the fucking horde of longbowmen, my god, you get it, and, yeah, yeah, you're, you're thinking, I'm, yeah, the Spartans can block the arrows, but I mean, yeah, 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 yeah how, how far can we take this? We're talking about this with the Mongolians. This fight could go on for a long time, but remember what we were talking about with supplies and food and ammunition and yeah, 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 changing your clothes before you get a fucking diaper rash in your balls? Yeah, yeah, it'll just get worse and worse until it peels open, basically. All I mean is, yeah, yeah, this is the arms race, you know, whatever, a natural evolution of it, so yeah. Skirmishers come out, fucking cavalry are just the natural, whatever, yeah, I got a horse, bitch. The these, you know, professional soldier infantry, spear formation phalanx is whatever, as far as Western warfare goes. I'd be very curious to hear the goddamn Persian Mafia side of this shit. Oh, yeah, you don't think they dealt with some crazy shit? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, comment boards, years, bender, fucking hell, buddy. Yeah, we fought some Saracen uh, Arabian Knights in the Crusades, but <laughs> we were very much a mirrored society by then. It was a straight-up game of chess. We both had the same pieces. Both got knights and castles and bishops and pawns and, yeah, right, 
clash of motherfucking Bender Jihad crusade going on. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, right? You might be getting it, though. Like, which, what's better? What should you be doing? Yeah, right? Yeah, you got one of each at this point. Yeah, you got some straight-up infantry, spearmen, motherfuckers with the shields. You got some artillery, be them longbowmen. Ooh, some catapults. Ooh, you know, catapults could fuck up those infantry. Yeah, ooh, you might want to get your cavalry to fuck up those catapults before they fuck up your infant infantry. Yeah, yeah. Rock, paper, scissors, you don't want to throw those cavalry into the infantry, do you? No, no, no. Well, what if they get better? What if they're tanks? Oh, motherfucker, yeah. What if they got rocket launchers? Oh, yeah. What if the artillery is a motherfucking howitzer? Yeah, right. Mortar, dreadnought, fucking Congreve missile launcher up your asshole. You get it? Each thing is outpacing the other thing, and it goes in a loop or a circle. And, yeah, like... Oh, man, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, fucking gotta check my notes here before Heisenschroger starts nuking me with profanity. Yeah, no, is it like, holy fuck, bro, yeah, no, we've been through this, man. We got a straight-up Klingon fucking Romulan Science Academy going here. Uh, I don't doubt one of you, some straight-up hippie pacifist is gonna go all Genghis Khan on this shit and be like, wait a minute, yeah, yeah, straight up. Why all the investment into the heavy cavalry? Yeah, yeah, actually, why all these steel-plated knights of million-dollar fucking dildo rings if all, uh, the, the fucking caveman Klingon atom-shattering fist club already solved this problem thousands of years ago? Remember Lord of the Rings? Yeah, I don't know, you got some Gandalf dildo ring going on? Essentially, cavalry are... They're usually good against infantry unless they're prepared for it, right? If you can swoop in and catch them off guard, kind of like a Mongolian motherfucker, yeah, right, straight up. That's the thing. If, if Yeah, it's like a dance. It's like a the, the, the tango de la muerte, the fucking dance of death, straight up. All three of them are looping around each other, and it's like... No, you get, this is most, like, strategy games. I don't know, I'm waiting for straight-up Black Colonel of the Marine Corps to fucking pimp-slap me with the, the straight-up Imperator version of how to do this right, but until that happens, goddamn, yeah, I don't know, right? Yeah, I'm a little biased from my perspective. We, we focused on the infantry, like I said. We've always kept that at our core because we were usually able to stay ahead of the ar enemy artillery and cavalry. Of course, we had our own artillery and cavalry. Yeah, I don't know if you saw that scene from the Gladiator I showed earlier. Yeah, fucking ballistas, catapults, caveman nukes, fucking bunker bust and hellfire, fucking smearing trees with napalm, fucking brimstone, fire, mortar, goddamn. Yeah, man. Long time ago, yeah, right, I know the British were like, yeah, when you guys saw that shit, you were like, yeah, we're still fighting the, the Celtic, the Celtic synagogue, you guys want to stick around with the caveman nukes? Yeah, you straight up benchmark, yeah, yeah, we'll give you, we'll show you how to make some caveman nukes. That's how England was founded. So yeah, I mean, on, on one side of this triangle, when it comes down to uh, the cavalry versus the spearmen, it really comes down to discipline, training, yeah, who knows what they're doing, who doesn't, right, and the horses, yeah, a lot of factors, but in general, yeah, if you're, this is the thing, like, yeah, the, ooh, some, some horse douche, but yeah, you, people who are into horses, they're waiting, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, you talking about some cataphract motherfucking beast lord Hades dreadlord horse? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's big horses. There's little donkey. Oh, donkey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, the greatest horse lord masters of all time, those Mongolians. Small horses. Fast horses. They they need less food. Yeah, 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 right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they're archers and skirmishers. And, yeah, it, it, this is the thing. There is no best... Yeah, this is the, the goddamn... Like, you know what I'm saying, the goddamn hillbillies in America know this shit. Yeah, there is no ba <laughs> Protoss or the Zerg or the Terrans, which is better? It depends how good you are at being the fucking Gangnam style. Yeah, he knows. The Master General Gangnam style out of South Korea here. Fucking Diamond League champion of StarCraft. Yeah, you're basically our best, um, be <laughs> fucking hell, right? Yeah, you're the expert here, bud. <clears throat> I'm gonna go straight turtle mode. Yeah, right? Yeah, okay, no, he might be thinking it too. Yeah, uh, you know, expand the map a little bit. Ooh, yeah, 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 the map in StarCraft, it's really fucking big. Yeah, you see how big Russia is? Ah, you get it. Yeah, there's a lot more minerals out there, a lot more Vespian gas. You require more minerals? Bitch, go find some minerals. Yeah, up and, yeah, you get it. 
those StarCraft maps. That's one reason I'm not very good at StarCraft. It's very much designed to be frantic short matches. I would prefer larger maps. Yeah, yeah, so I got more time before you kick my ass, bitch. Whatever. Whatever. This is the thing. There's already mods. Yeah, he's straight up. There. You've, have you seen the me fucking menu, bud? Yeah, I know, right? I, I can't. Every time I log in, it's a... Yeah, right? It was worth it. Straight up, it was worth it. What I'm saying is, yeah, at least we're... Hope, straight up, old grandpa's still with us. Yeah, right? Fucking master assassinating from beyond the grave. <laughs> fucking hell. <clears throat> At some point, one of these things is going to outpace the others, and you can probably picture. And again, yeah, what do you, I have to say, you might notice this too, the whole uncertainty about Roman cavalry. Yeah, guess what, bud? Yeah, yeah, you get it. That We, we started, yeah, yeah. When, when it comes to cutting corners and where, yeah, what are we get? Who are we cutting first? It's the fucking million dollar dildo ring cavalier master. Uh, yeah, right? Hey, if they were, is, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Even with, um, what's his face, Alexander the Great back in, the, yeah, the Greek side cavalry, again, they were auxiliary. They were not the main unit. It was not like, it was not the Rohan cavalry charge. The infantry would distract the enemy. The fucking, yeah, artillery would hail artillery and try to kill them from a distance. And the cavalry would wait for opportunities. Cut off supplies. Yeah, cut off supplies. I know how kind of generic that sounds, but you probably get it. It's as simple as not getting your paycheck. Yeah, straight up, I fucking s stole your mailbox. Yeah, oh, where's my money? Yeah, stole your groceries, whatever. No food, no clothes, yeah, no gas in your car, your mounted vehicle. Yeah, we'll get into this too. So, I don't know. We, we always tried to keep pace with the infantry, of course. Vikings got some hardcore infantry too. Vikings got some hardcore fucking cavalry Ulan motherfuckers. Vikings did not have much in the way of the artillery. Yeah, they, they picked that up from us. And yeah, you guessed it. We went all artillery. Once we, yeah, once we got the caveman nukes, we don't need no Spartans. Yeah, fucking Spartans are going to be running away from this shit. You get it. Even your shield isn't enough. And we ran into this with a few, like, uh, Turks. Ooh, the Turks. Fucking goddamn Borat's Jihad. Yeah, they, they had some crazy shit. And they had, yeah, again, the technology of arrows. You get into a longbow? I'm sure Scotty's waiting. Yeah, with that longbow. It's not just a big bow, whatever. Long distance, but it arcs. It's a, it's a mortar. It shoots up and over, not straight. And you might get this. It's a big, long arrow. It's heavier than most arrows, and it falls a great distance. It hits with a lot of force. It is a heavy stopping power, punching through some shit. Punch right through a shield. Pin the shield to your arm. Yes, this is like a... You know, ring around the rosy like a children's, like something kids would sing. Yeah, right? Straight up shields pinned to your arm now, bud. Something like that. It's kind of, like, yeah, a whimsical little quote that means the arrow has stuck, pinned the fucking shield through your shield, through your arm, and now, yeah, you ain't letting go of that thing. Or if you do, it's gonna fucking hurt, bud. Goddamn Turks were doing that shit. They had longbows. They would lay down on the ground and shoot up with their feet. Yeah, cr I know, right? The British guy? Yeah, lay down on your back with your longbow. Put the fucking, your feet up against it and pull the drawstring back with both your hands and aim up. And artillery barrage. Yeah, yeah. Widen the fucking target area. It's not very accurate. <laughs> but if you get a height advantage on a cliff from a distance, motherfucking, yeah, a sniper artillery or what? Any, yeah, you you might get an artillery starts to outpace infantry. And then cavalry got to play this game of cutting off supplies and controlling the battlefield and cutting off the fucking artillery. Unless you're, this is the thing, if you're fighting a, a, a very, you know, inexperienced mob of whatever, a mob of fucking uh, raiders, yeah, cavalry can charge straight through a motherfucker if they ain't got no formation, no spears, nothing. There's other ways, but, you know, you get it. Again, if they're prepared or not. So, yes, you can probably see how cavalry, on one hand, were always a thing. Keep in mind, horses were the main method of transit. Yeah, supplies, they had horses anyway. Duke Count of Flanders, yeah, I'm gonna walk, am I gonna ride a horse? You get it. A lot of it is the mentality of just people in general. We've already got horses. We already need horses. Ma fuck, I'm gonna ride around on my horse. Yeah, yeah, I'll wait until I got an opportunity. Yeah. And from my perspective, what should you be doing? Yeah, yeah, here's where fucking Gangnam Style's gonna laugh at me straight up turtle mode. I, you've already heard me talk about this with the trenches we're getting back to here, too. Bitch, I'm gonna sit right here. I'm gonna build bunkers. I'm gonna build turrets. I'm gonna build cannons. Big motherfucking bombs. Yeah, little motherfucking bombs. Yeah, he's laughing. Remember, 
Yeah, yeah, lots of more resources around. It's not just here. I'm just saying, that's where I start. <laughs> that's why I'm not very good at the multiplayer. It's the standard league. He gets it too. The normal, yeah, traditional hardcore. Yeah, straight up hardcore Imperator StarCraft League. It's a different game. I like to dig in for the long run, but it's how we lasted thousands of years, bitch. No, you got it. Where's the fucking caveman nukes? Once we got that. Yeah, even Spartan infantry can't stand it. And yeah, eventually, they, they, they got to upgrade. Yeah, your, your infantry are going to need rifles, M16, motherfuckers. Yeah, your cavalry, your mounted infantry. This is where we really get into it. The artillery, yeah. Ooh, your cannons. France with the mother and artillery. Yeah, something. You know what's up. Big motherfucking bombs. Catapults, trebuchets, anything. Yeah, again, sorry. My, my tactic for Grandpa, who might have missed the slang of the StarCraft shit going on with the South Korean Gangnam style. He probably knows who that is. Yeah, the American Asians in South Korea. Yeah, now he's laughing. They're good at this. Yeah, they're good at this game. Yeah, we played the same strategy game, Pops. We both learned a lot from the same fucking strategy game. He's like, all right, all right, yeah, yeah. And yeah, it's... <laughs> I don't know. Our artillery... Yeah, from my perspective, I want to kill as many of your soldiers as possible and I want to lose as few of my soldiers as possible. I do not want to get entangled into a fucking chaotic melee because my soldiers are going to start dying. I could just shoot you from a distance with a catapult or a missile or a rocket and lose no one. Yeah, less so a matter of honor or bravery. It's a matter of, yeah, let's... Uh, today no Spartan dies, whatever. It'll be a lot easier to tell his wife, yeah, you want me to go back and tell his wife he died? Yeah, yeah. Crazy bitch, yeah, you get it. It's as simple as that. I know, I'm like, yeah, some people might think it's righteous, whatever, you get it. Ain't nothing righteous. About, yeah, war is an atrocity. No shit. Is your war not an atrocity? Yeah, yeah, and the closest I can get to finger wag and boast in here is, in a lot of these cases, you get it. When you see me building a fort... And then getting catapults of cavemen. Yeah, you can always run away. Yeah, exactly. No, the Chinese are thinking of two straight Mongolian motherfuckers. It's the opposite. You better fucking run, bitch. No, with me. Yeah, right? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll build whatever the fuck I have. This is the thing. We would treat buildings like, you know, artillery. Exactly. Let's build a siege tower. Let's build, a, like, walls and barric barricades and... I do this too when I, this is the thing, before, yeah, I don't know, man, Zerg Mafia, I, I naturally, yeah, I don't doubt the Koreans are laughing, hey, guy, like I'm saying, I'm sure you could teach me a few things, Mr. Gangnam Style, fucking Master General of StarCraft, that's, be best jokes are true, bud, best jokes are fucking true, you don't think. Some North Korean motherfucking officers are nervous that every teenager in South Korea is good at StarCraft. Yeah, or, yeah, at least moderate. Yeah, familiar. God damn. Right? Yeah, yeah. Sh should we assassinate the, the general? Which one? <laughs> now, you might get, though, that that's kind of a necessary part of any, you know, uh, a, a professional soldiers. Yeah, like with the Spartan formations. They all need to be at least familiar with the formation, right? <laughs> Fucking hell, man. Yeah, PsyOps Delta, go. What? Yeah, yeah, motherfucker, go. Exactly. You gotta know what the fuck you're supposed to do. And in a lot of the cases, you probably get, if you kept up by now, yeah. Yeah, take a guess. A lot of times when they, they lose, it's because someone fucked up the formation. Scotty gets it with the firing formation. Yeah, with the red coat firing formation. Fucking pop, reload, pop, reload, pop, reload. And they can stagger the formation, so it's coming out like a slow machine gun. Pop, 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 reload. Yeah, uh, too many guys fuck it up, and them damn Zulu are gonna get through, buddy. Just like the pin, the Binderborg Mafia, the Persian Xerxes dildo ring. Yeah, right. Straight up. No, what's up with that? Oh my god, I know even Grandpa's starting to catch on. Oh yeah, he knows what that means. The dildo ring is just anyone who thinks he's the king of Spain. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah, king of Spain, king of France. What the fuck's the difference? Mexican cowboys or the Duke of Flanders? And I guess uh, the Crusades, again, interesting little thing to point out. <laughs> as far as I can tell, you know, countries that did invest in, you know, knights, when you think, for the most part, again... Roll it in from the white guy commercials. Basically the British version. Yeah, the British version. Knights of the Round Table. With gallivanting around England on whimsical adventures. Straight up. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe some, maybe some of them. I don't know, man. 
back in Jerusalem, bro, with the fucking Italian Knights Hospital or of the fucking Costa del Falcone, motherfuckers. Oh, I know, right? I could have re-recorded that. Yeah, man, the $100 blunts, yo. I'm just saying. No, oh, dude, yeah, they were the King Richard, motherfucker. Yeah, motherfucker's got to roll back in with actual King Richard. Remember, that's where he was, Crusade number three. And again, like I said, the... Regard, you know, fighting good, whatever. No, the, the Muslims respected that he was a reasonable, like, you know, m academic military mind. It's like, yes, we we have, we are likely to lose this. Yes, yes, yes. We might as we we could cut our losses and, and yeah, exactly. Not doom everyone to death. Yeah, considering things and factors and my God, they were like, yeah, yes, it was a nice change of pace from the dildo masters they had seen before that. I'm sure you can imagine. I'm speculating a little bit, but I don't doubt, basically, they could tell that he was an Imperator. Yeah, right before they even fully, just the fact that, yeah, he's doing the shit, yeah, he, he's actually the general, you know what I mean? He's not just, like, bumbling around, flailing dildos around, I don't know, yeah, now, now they, they all know what I'm talking about, yeah, now Binder knows exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, it was the one guy that wasn't flailing dildos around, now. Oh, I'm sure they laugh about this shit. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing. Yeah, of course. Yeah, whatever. We'll get to that sort of shit. Yeah, there, there's a lot more to come back to in the Middle East, bud. We got time. You know, chill with your hookah. I'll pack another fucking bowl here. Roll another $100 blunt and we'll get cracking. All right, so. Yeah, yeah, to finish off. Oh, we're getting there in the Cybertronic age of fucking nuclear android. Fucking Terminator Sky Dome. Not quite. Yeah, yeah. Which one's the artillery? Yes, the mount the cavalry would be the nuclear subs and the tanks. Yeah, ba remember, cavalry is just mounted infantry. Literally getting inside your car, you straight up cavalry. You're driving. You're mounted on a vehicle, mounted on a fucking airplane, mounted in a submarine, mounted in a yeah whatever spaceship. Of course, yeah. Now, okay, we're gonna need and want a navy. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. It's not like you need these things, but it's efficient. Yeah, yeah, yeah straight up. Whatever. Again. I can compliment the Admiralty Board for being professional in some ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, whatever. You, you probably get, again, yeah, I don't doubt one of you, again, some hippie pacifist who kept up all along. You, you mean being, like, basic competence? Yeah, yeah, basic fucking competence versus I don't know what a computer is. Are you right? Yeah, I can beat the easy fucking chess computer. Right, and you're thinking too, basic shit, food, supplies, whatever, but yeah, like, again, you can expand this into anything. Like, okay, sorry, what I meant to, the example with, yeah, the Crusades is a neat little apex of this. If you're rolling in white guy commercials from the British version of King Arthur, oh, straight up, where's Lan- Okay, when Lancelot shows up in Jerusalem, brah, oh, straight up when Lancelot shows up in Jerusalem. This was basically, this is, when you think of knights fighting each other on horseback, this is basically what that was. That's why it's so epic. Yeah, yeah, this is the war where that actually happened. Most, half of them were Binder, yeah, Arabian knights, yeah, occasionally Christian knights would fight each other. Not really, I mean, yeah, we, they had petty quarrels with each other, but yeah, in the end, it's like, brah, yeah, one of us is French and one of us is Italian, but we got a straight bender jihad rolling in on Jerusalem. Yeah, at that point, Mr. Francais and I might actually get along for a few days. I'm sure even Heisenschroger knows this. I uh, fucking look, he's got his fucking, you know, commentaries on the Lutheran church. Yeah, exactly. No, Germans were there too, just in smaller number. And again, it's like, uh, whatever, I'll make this joke each time. It, <laughs> <laughs> they're just there to, do, you know, help do whatever. It's like humanitarian aid. They're not religious nuts. I, hey, I don't doubt some of them wanted some bitches, pimps, and heroin. I know, I, I, yeah, I'm, whatever. I don't know if I'm being too nice to my buddy here. Yeah, I can, I'll find funnier ways to make fun of them. I'm just saying, yeah, they killed people. Yeah, they killed some straight up Jews. Literally, one of the first things that happens in the Crusades is these, yeah, straight up Jews. The Germans in Jerusalem trashing synagogues. Oh my God. Hey, right? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, you know, so it doesn't seem too one sided. I'm just saying. Yeah, no. Most of them were either Hospitaller or, or Templar. You've probably heard of these things. Stonemasons. Yeah, they used to build our castles, motherfucker, until the artillery got fucking heavier and the castles became useless. 
today there is a saying I've heard, I, I'm sure, ooh, yeah, the, the, now the Black Colonel Master of the fucking Marine Corps, yeah, right, I know a little, little bit, bro, a little bit. A cave is a grave, bitch, oh, snap, a cave is a grave. Yeah, yeah, fortresses, no, it's all about mobile warfare now, that's what the nuclear subs are all about, you, it's decentralized network, straight up fucking splinter cell, like, yeah, you might get it, the, the whole, again, the Super Star Destroyer, the Dreadnought Galactic Battleship Death Star, fucking nope, not anymore, not anymore, the problem is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Artillery, yeah, we've seen artil artillery jumps ahead fast, man. And the easier it is to hit the broad side of a barn, yeah, you, right? We all know where the target is. We just need a bigger bomb. Yeah, right? Eventually we'll have a bigger bomb. You're saying humans won't eventually have a bigger bomb? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Bunker busting hellfire. Straight up bust into the bunker. The, at that point, uh, th there's a reason I reference that as like the apex of like modern weaponry. Your fortress is worthless now. Any fortress anywhere, any bunker anywhere, bunker busting motherfucking hellfire. Unless you're gonna go live with the mole people down in the yeah, straight up down in the caves of the mole people. Yeah, any Kim Jong Un palace? Oh, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, I don't doubt Chinese have heard of this. Just you know, confirmation for the bras and the PLA over there, bro. Yeah, have you seen the fucking menu, bud? Straight bunker buster with or without the hellfire. Depends how deep the ne the network is, brah. Yeah, yeah, right. Even the Viet Cong, yeah, right. Ooh, we'll get to that too. Yeah, again. I don't know, it's a uh, sneak preview. That, that shit irritates me because, yeah, when people get all right, yeah, whatever, either or about communism, they reference those dumbest examples. Cuba and fucking Vietnam were not really that communist. Yeah, you know, Wing Chang Pong, give me a fucking AK-47, basically. Do you think they're reading Karl Marx and debating the Communist Manifesto? No, they're debating the AK-47 Manifesto to, to assassinate Imperator fucking Queen Bitch of China, basically. Cuban fucking white guy resort. Yeah, white guy commercials running for their fucking Ruski friends with a comrade. Yeah, we want the cheap machine guns, the nice big cheap machine guns. Get real, bro. I have talked about this before. We will get into it soon. I do enjoy this, though. Cuba is the perfect example of how a lot of people who might be into communism might be a little twisted up and what n not just you're wrong but just it's it's kind of like with the nazis it might not be what you thought it was right right you might have been thinking about something a little different yeah not even the white guy commercials yeah yeah right could be a i don't i don't know where all this shit comes from i'm just saying yeah yeah, yeah. right from from the fucking soviet kremlin nuke factory comrade yeah you don't think i want a straight soviet union going on we can do that without communism. Oh, we could just have normal socialism. And, uh, yeah, you don't have to go national socialist. What about Soviet socialist? Just means we're a big mafia in the shadow factory of fucking Canada. Dude, yeah, again, fucking mobsters in the fucking spy agency are just like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, could be a lot fucking worse, buddy. How about, does the dildo ring sound good? To oh, my God, they're fucking laughing now. Don't worry, Grandpa. You know, I still got the capitalist insanity. Yeah, 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 no, straight up. Even in, the, even in the Soviet Union, comrade, we'll still have a motherfucking casino, bitch. Yeah, exactly. Straight up. So, yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, for the most part, I guess it got to this point where, we're, you know, back to the whole cavalry thing, and moving on into the modern age. Yeah, the artillery steadily. Dude, we had motherfucking caveman nukes back in the, yeah, ye olden days. Of, yeah, way back in the day. Long before the King of France, bud. Yeah, we had some crazy artillery. We had some uh, fucking crazy infantry of, uh, you know, as far as melee fighting goes. So did Vikings, so did fucking a lot of people. Straight up Persian Mafia motherfuckers. Mexican Mafia down in Egypt. So, uh, yeah, the cavalry kind of, yeah, again, the, the, yeah, whoever thought they would they never want to know anything about this is now very, yeah, you, you could be on the verge of, you know, summarizing this. Right, the, the, those damn cavalry, it's like, in a way, no, you get it, half of it is just douchebaggery, yeah, straight up, and you'll even hear of cases where, you know, an army, they'll have horses, they'll ride their horses to the battle, and then get off of their horses and fight, yeah, right, well, I don't want my horse to die, well, it's carrying all your stuff, yeah, if your horse dies, 
motherfucker, we're walking with all this shit. Who's going to pull the carriage? Yeah, I know you got to realize this is everything. These are cars. Yeah, you're living cars that have minds of their own. Do you know this guy? Or is he, did you just meet this bitch? Right? Yeah, some. Yeah, now the horse tamers are laughing. Yeah, you ever met a stubborn horse that doesn't want to listen to you? Ooh, yeah, bad time for that. I think my car just stalled. And, you know, on the other hand, yeah, get real, cavalry have been a prime factor of militaries, even to this day. Horses, I should say, up until World War I. Yeah, I'm seeing the point here. What I'm saying is, again, in my opinion, I guess, yeah, we're back to where's Sun Tzu Su on this shit. In my opinion, the only people who make good use of cavalry are people who are actual horse, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Straight Ulan Mongolian people who, whatever, actual knights or samurai motherfucker people. I'm not just talking about hardcore badass. I mean, yeah, you get it. People who have an actual relationship with the horse. You take that as far, yeah, profane sense of humor indeed. Watch England become more profane than everyone. You take that as far as you want. Who has a better relationship with their fucking horse? The Queen's, yeah, yeah, exactly. No, straight up. If you grew up with this horse and you have fought in the Crusades together and you are now competing for who's the biggest douchebag in the universe, very much so, yeah, or whatever, who's, yeah, some, they'll very much show off to each other. Yeah, you might, some people think, ooh, are they, do they separate the men and the women? Well, get creative, actually get creative. They all want to show off to each other, right? The men want to show off to the women. The women want to keep up with the men. You stagger your formation of horses and yeah, whatever it takes, get a fucking nuke dome on it. You don't doubt we thought about this shit. Yeah. This is the thing. We had some cataphracts. Those were the big motherfucking war horses. Yeah. They're tall. Like tall is in trampling over your shield wall kind of thing they're not like yeah i'm sure some horse tamer is yeah i just started jerking off yeah cool yeah, yeah hey she might be really hot you never know yeah, yeah i've seen yeah you never know right <clears throat> so yeah i mean i don't know if you are fucking john jane of the alamo or fucking hannah montana or some shit i don't fucking know man well yeah it, it, yeah obviously i could make a raunchy porno joke or well yeah in, in addition to um no, I got this written down. Oh, yeah. No, straight up. Angriest motherfucking horse you've ever... You know what I mean. The, the angry old grumpy fucking horse. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, watch out for that one. Even, yeah, even that guy. Of all, yeah, especially that guy. Is he gonna... Yeah, no. Yeah, straight up, no. Is he gonna fucking risk his balls for your bullshit? Yeah, your jihad bender crusade? Yeah, what the fuck does that mean, buddy? If he knows... He might have heard that word a thousand times before one of these charges. No, you get it. Yeah, yeah, this is the more realistic, gritty, dark fantasy version, but it's actually real. Yeah, right? Oh, <laughs> God, I know, right? <laughs> hey, man. Whatever, we can be classy with our perverted porno jokes. Now, let's move on. No, 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 realistically, though, if, yeah, if you are straight up Hannah Montana on a fucking ranch, uh, yeah, man, goddamn lassoing motherfuckers, yeah, yeah, straight up. Yeah, don't think you ain't never seen one before. They're around. I'm just saying, yeah, at this point, you're the expert on how how far is your the horse willing to go for Bender's fucking jihad? Yeah, our fucking Salahuddin crusade to Jerusalem. You get it. If he's a young punk shithead teenager at the time, sure, whatever. Bitches, yeah, where are the bitches? Eventually, he's going to get old and cranky and doesn't give two fucks about a jihad or a crusade. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <clears> hmm. <throat> Yeah, c correct any of my speculation on, uh, yeah, cavalry from this point forward. Up to the point, hey, you might even be able to fix a trucker. Yeah, now you can tell me all about the next level of, you know what I'm saying? When the cavalry get into the vehicle, yeah, vehicular, yeah, I mount it on your fucking crazy jeep or some shit. You know what's up, bitch. Yeah, yeah, straight up, I could use a hand. We got fucking Gangnam style whitewashed Asian kid as the master general of StarCraft. We can figure this out. All right, so... <clears throat> I guess the only thing I really want to nail home there is, yeah, <laughs> horses greatly vary in size. Yes, yes, from the little donkey to the fucking cataphract praetor imperator fucking war horse. Yeah, right? Oh, yeah, she she, she grabbed the vibrator for that one. Hey, um, come on! What the fuck, right? I'm just saying, right. Uh, yeah, it's. I'm not saying, yeah, it's not as bad as you probably think. Oh, she knows exactly how bad it is. Again, correct me if I'm wrong, lady.
Madam, ma'am, whatever. Yeah, absolutely. Fucking correct me if I'm wrong. Boy, howdy. What What's the average size of, you know, your fucking dog? You, you know what I'm saying? Workhorse. I'm trying, yeah, I'm trying to be respectful. Yeah, this ain't no fucking Italian stallion. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Come on. How? Yeah, we could do this all day. But... Yo, I'm sure she gets to, yeah, I don't know, I tried riding a horse once and motherfucker tossed me right off. Hey, yeah, straight up, I learned something about that grumpy old son of a bitch. Motherfucker did not give two shits about a jihad or a crusade. Why is this fucking kid on my back? Yeah, I learned a valuable lesson about horses. I learned a lot about horses that day. All right, I'll leave the lady alone. I, yeah, right, she's ready to fucking cap me with a 357. Or, yeah, right, yeah, well, it was funny the first time, partner. Yeah, at least got a show. I got the balls to jump on that horse again. Okay, sorry. Anyway, again, correct me if I'm wrong, ma'am. Uh, yeah, I, I do believe that, uh, you know, usually if you've seen a horse on our little, you know, whatever, you can drive by in the country, a little ranch somewhere, yeah, th those are what, the medium horses? Yeah, medium, probably healthy, yeah, straight up. Yo, motherfucker's gonna spend ten grand on us? Yeah, yeah, so now she's laughing. Yeah, yeah, it better be a fucking healthy one at least. Big, big, crazy war horse, yeah, man, you know, it's a lot of food, you probably need a bigger stable, motherfucker might get into a fight with some other motherfucker, yeah, right. You got a jihad or a crusade going on for that motherfucker? No, they might get it. I don't know. Hope, again, no, you help me get this, yeah, lady. Yeah, no, I fucking right. Again, yeah, yeah. I think you've, yeah, I think, whatever. Yeah, anything I say is gonna be an inappropriate, raunchy porno joke at this point. So I'm sure she gets it. The point is, yeah, whatever. However big you think a horse is, double that size, pretty much. That's like the best of the best cataphract and remember selective breeding where it's like yeah we okay there's different regions sort of like prussia yeah 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 vo, prussia yeah breed some motherfucking horses for byzantium motherfucker yeah straight up get get them up over to constantinople we'll pick the best ones or whatever you know template you want to pay more or less whatever yeah straight up pimping out motherfucking italian stallions Right, yeah, this bitch is ready to pimp the Italian stallion. Yeah, that's ba yeah, right. That's as far as that go as far as that goes for now, all right, ma'am? Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong. All I'm saying is whatever. Yeah, little donkey, yeah, I'm sure you've seen a horse somewhere. Yeah, yeah, these cataphracts are like five feet taller and it, mostly legs. It's like how tall people just have really long legs, but of course they're muscly. They don't have the big gut on them. I know how that sounds. Some of them might. You know what I mean. Yeah, my fucking lazy ass horse standing around eating grass all day, bitch. Get to work. I'm sorry. I don't know what. She's probably laughing at some of this. I'm just saying. Yeah, my fucking and and oh, some people thinking too. Yeah, I don't doubt she's thinking. Man, must have been hard for those horses in Jerusalem. Yeah, no shit. No shit, that's why you gotta be home bra with your horse and that shit. If he knows you're suffering too and actually gives a shit, and you care enough not to, yeah, strand him in the desert. Some of these guys, worse than others, yeah. Do you take the saddle off? Do you let it breathe? Do you ride it till it bleeds? There's some stories like that. Oh yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She grabbed the vibrator again. I'm sorry. I'm just saying. <laughs> Fucking hell. No, <laughs> whatever. Yeah, there's stories like that in here, too. You'll see, yeah, eventually, no, we're, this is the war where we're riding horses to the very bone. No, it's time to upgrade to the crazy 4x4 shit she's got going in the garage there. Exactly. Yeah, we're mounting the infantry on that shit. You know, straight up. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, <laughs> You'll notice going into World War One, yeah, the artillery, the infantry, they're 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 quite advanced at this point. We got bolt action rifles, big motherfucking bombs, modern artilleries, yeah, fucking monitor dreadnought division. The only thing that's still quite antiqu oh the cavalry, yeah, motherfucking ca this is where the grumpy horse is gonna start saying what the f yeah fuck your jihad bender whatever yeah am I thinking oh they had camels yeah they had some camels they had some straight up horses too like I said very much a mirrored fucking war going on of the bender jihad and the crusade Saladin crusade it's the same fucking thing dude yeah slight differences ooh yeah we had some better horses here there ooh they had some better swords here there my fucking Saracen scimitar up in this shit yeah straight up I told you bitch this is the real version. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, click. And yeah, double the size is probably an exaggeration. Yeah, like I said, few few feet taller, mostly in the legs, less of that gut going on. Straight up jihad to Jerusalem with those motherfuckers. Right? 
anyway. Yeah, now, uh, yeah, again, ma'am, if you can help me speculate on this, yeah, how far does motherfucker go for Bender's Jihad, assuming we're not dope home bras? Yeah, no, this is to pick the motherfucker up at a stable, somewhere in between, you know, reasonably competent, healthy, whatever. All I'm saying is, yeah, like, basically the Crusades is that state, yeah, it's that staple moment of, again, when you think of knights fighting, like, jousting on horseback for, re not in a tournament, but in an actual war. That's the Crusades. A lot of them are Muslim Binder. A lot of them are Christian, Italian, Stallion, motherfucking Francais, Templar, motherfucking Germans, trash in synagogues, whatever. Yeah, crazy shit going on in Jerusalem. Yeah, all, all up in the shit. That was kind of Byzantium's thing, though, or whatever. Yeah, the, the more Latin douchebag areas. Again, we, we, we were, yeah, we did get pretty hard into the cavalry game. Up until the point where it's not worth it. Yeah, and again, after the Crusades, it's like, we, at that point, we were just matching the, the Arabian Nights, and that was kind of whatever. Again, that's kind of... Bleh. It's a lot lot to it, a lot of different factors. I, I know she's waiting for it, too. Yeah, gunpowder, my fucking guns. As soon as that John Wayne Smith and Wesson Colt 45, whatever the fuck you got in your trousers there, lady. Oh, I don't doubt she's packing something in between there. Yeah, right, don't even doubt it, bud. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't mean a, yeah, no, I mean a, a fucking firearm, yeah, exactly, literally, literally, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, again, she knows how bad it is, all I'm saying is, yeah, right, it's the hollow rounds, you get it, yeah, yeah, at that point, things change, for a number of reasons, ooh, yeah, yeah, can you keep up with me now, bitch, sorry, yeah, my apologies, ma'am, oh, dude, yeah, she's ready to pimp slap me with that motherfucking thing, I'm just saying, yeah, ooh, what, money, ooh, time, how long does it take to train my fucking Arturius, yeah, yeah, Ulan, my Odevacker, yeah, straight up Knights of the Crusade, yeah, like I said, you gotta grow up with your horse, or I can teach you how to use this gun in a day, that's it, that's it, you can train a whole army to use guns and cannons very quickly, a bunch of fucking idiots from the bar can line up with rifles, much faster than me trying to be the Italian stallion in the Crusades falling off an angry horse. Yeah, she, yeah, now you're laughing, bitch. Watch that thing throw me to the ground ten times in a fucking row, basically. That's a big part of it. The amount of time it takes to train a knight and the amount of time it takes to train a fucking rifleman, unfortunately. And even with archers, yeah, even the longbowmen. That was kind of the thing with the longbowmen. Ooh, you could train a bunch of peasants to be longbow pr fairly effective longbowmen. Even that takes a fair amount of practice. Yeah, guns are even easier and more devastating. And when you get into guns and big cannons, ooh, that noise and smoke, yeah, those horses are sketched as fuck now. And basically, even up to the Napoleon area, you see this decline in the value of, you know, horse cavalry. Napoleon's War, a hundred or so years before this, uh, World War One, is the last, like, you know, large... Th that was the last war where everyone had tons of cavalry, even by this point. Yeah, uh, well, World War One, they're still trying, but most of us already get it. Even the Ulans are like, shit, yeah, well, I gotta fight another, yeah. They fucking gracefully take a, the, the back seat to that, right? Kind of like the, yeah, kind of like the Triarii. Straight up like the Triarii. They're like, hey, man, remember what those Romans were talking about with the Triarii? Yeah, it's our time to Triarii, motherfucker, yeah. They, they hung out in the back and fucking kept their goddamn army alive, kept the fucking messages moving, kept the shit going, man, kept, yeah, the intermediate sub-commander motherfucker. That's what their Ulan's goddamn place in a hard speculation on that. Now, Professor Heisenschroger's got to bust out the next encyclopedia to, yeah, what, what's up with the Ulan's motherfucker? Yeah, no, there's some crazy horse motherfuckers. Yeah, right? Yeah, oh, she's going double-ended for that one. Oh, my God, man. You have no idea. Like I said, only she knows how bad it is. <clears throat> you never know. Yeah, yeah, again, with all due respect, ma'am. Yeah, you very much... Uh, yeah, goddamn. All right. When we... <laughs> We get to this point in World War One where, yeah, sorry, the, we, we gotta replace the horses. This cavalry is way too far behind everything else. And, yeah, the folly of these generals who are still thinking, like, wait a minute, that's, that's, that's the cavalry. That's like the, you know, the catchphrase, the, the buzzword, ooh, send in the cavalry. Like, some people think of that as, you know, the, the big shots, the, the, yeah, the real soldiers. No, it means mounted infantry, and if you're mounting them on a horse... In a motherfucking machine gun nest of big motherfucking bombs and anthrax, yeah, in the train. No, not even gonna get close. 
So, yeah, and at this point is where, yeah, like I said, armor division coming in. This is the last distinction I'll draw here. You think of armored knights on horseback. Ooh, yeah, a lot of weight on that horse. That's why you need a motherfucking Italian stallion to haul hundreds of pounds of steel around. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. It's okay. You can click it again, bitch. It's all good. Yo, fucking hell. God, yeah, w the thing is, she'll probably fuck just shoot me. Exactly. Right. She'll either shoot me or it'll be worth it. One of the two. Now, right. Oh, I don't doubt it. Yeah, or whatever. I'm gonna fucking get trampled by a horse. Yeah, yeah, right. It was worth it. It was fucking worth it. Yeah, it, you know, again, lots of different reasons. I'm sure the rich Duke Count of Flanders wanted all the best shit. But you might get the idea, too, in a tactical sense. You kind of need a horse to carry that much shit around. And, yeah, you jump off your horse, you ain't going to be wearing 100 pounds of steel for much longer. That's why we get into things like, ooh, the chain mail. Yeah, medium, you know, weight armor. And even, like, with the Spartans, like, I don't doubt some of you guys looking at them like, are they entirely naked? Not quite. Yeah, right. Yeah, she's looking hard. Is those motherfuckers entirely naked? Not entirely. But yeah, 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 right. Nice tan. No, right. How much weight? Yeah, right? Like, uh, what was that game? It's like Armored Core. You have a certain amount of weight to, to contribute to your mechanic. Yeah, once your vehicle is too heavy, it's too heavy. Where are you going to put that weight? Motherfucker puts all of it in his shield and his helmet, basically, right? And, I mean, whatever. And the shin pads, so that it's specifically for that one formation. So, yeah, it, it, as long as they're in formation, it's good. If they were wearing a bunch of steel plate armor, yeah, fucking hell. I've talked about this before. I'm sure the fucking Hannah Montana here can tell, yeah, you know how heavy steel is, but even if just a bit, whatever, fucking, yeah, anything. Fucking hammer is solid steel, leg like bigger. I'm just saying, if you're thinking of, like, hollow steel, no, solid steel. Hundreds of pounds of steel, the amount, it, it, yeah, we, I've talked about, the, we'll get into it as weapons come out. The amount of steel plating it takes, you can look up pictures of breastplates with fucking holes in them from old school bullets and guns. Yeah, it gets to a point where the gun is, you know, even simple uh, muskets are powerful enough to punch through plate armor to where, okay, let's get more plate armor. How much more? Well, yeah, tons? Yeah, thousands of pounds of plate armor. You mean a tank? Yeah. Yeah. A horse can't carry that shit. Your cavalry, your mounted infantry armor, USA armor division, yeah, your armor cavalry is now a tank. It is a fucking motorized vehicle that carries inches of plate armor that weighs thousands of pounds that can stop those bullets. Yep, and then we need more artillery. Where's the nukes? Yeah, where's the fucking PSYOPs, Navy SEAL soldiers? Yeah, it just keeps getting crazier. Motherfucking crazier. We're not quite there yet, but you get the idea. Everything, yeah, we hit that precipice. This is why you get the trench stalemate. Yeah, the artillery's crazy powerful. The infantry weapons are fucking straight up machine guns now. Like, I don't know what you're doing with any fucking bayonet. I mean, yeah, it's still a bayonet for all. I'm just saying, yeah, we're there, bro. Anyone riding around like the Count of Flanders uh, trying to do a cavalry charge with his horse? Yeah, fucking dildo master indeed. Right? Yeah, no, she's, yeah, right? Yo, know, goddamn. Didn't even have to say anything about that. All I'm saying is, yeah, that, that, the, it all needed to change, that needed to change specifically, and that's what it took to, yeah, break this stalemate, was tanks. We needed to upgrade the cavalry to punch through this artillery and infantry line, and <clears throat> there's even parts where, yeah, you know, I was f fucking given a hard time, you know, we both charged, again, our side, yeah, it was more, once we realized it didn't work, we were much less careless with that shit, much more direct with our Imperators. Uh, yeah, I don't blame you guys for not being able to stand up to the Marshal who's gonna shoot you, motherfucker. But I'm just saying, too, and yeah, all the it wasn't just Benders, yeah, a lot of people died, too, but you get the idea. It's like, the Commanders are thinking, okay, yeah, <laughs> okay, we tried charging, that didn't work. Why don't we use more artillery? Yeah, we'll fucking hail... 20, what is it? 24 days of artillery? They had some crazy plan. Millions, millions of artillery shells. We'll fucking batter the whole area, flatten all the barbed wire, flatten their trenches, and then go in and clean it up. Buddy, you remember when we were talking about the anti-infantry artillery shells full of buckshot and shrapnel? Oh, now she's laughing. Yeah, these are buckshot shells, bitch. Yeah, straight up, ain't no slugs. What that means is, yeah, these bombs are designed to kill people. They're not designed to... Yeah, this is an anti-tank weaponry because we barely have tanks yet. <laughs> around and around. It's a fucking dozy do square dance of fucking artillery arms race. Oh, bro, but yeah, straight up. Straight up, bitch.
So yeah, I mean, you know, you might be thinking, wait a minute, if someone built those shells, yeah, no shit, someone knows this, I don't know who, yeah, where's the Marine Corps, sir, I don't know, Kaiser Wilhelm's in charge, or whoever the fuck Dutch Count of Flanders, yeah, the commanders could have, you know, consulted with officers, I don't fucking know, no, they just assumed, whatever, get the big motherfucking bombs, buddy, these ain't big enough. <clears throat> Our bombs probably could have leveled some fucking, right? But you guys were far enough away. Yeah, we can't move the big motherfucking bombs quickly enough. Yeah, very yeah, stalemate up until enough tanks roll in. That's basically the defining factor. And, like, thing is, like, most of the famous battles of World War One, they're really just the places where the most people died. You know what I mean? Like, m fucking million people died in a week. or Yeah, it's some hardcore shit. But you might get it. It's like... <sighs> Did we win? Did we lose? Does it make what's yeah, ooh, petty, petty gains and losses indeed. And I'm not saying, you know, defending your country, whatever. Even when we get into the urban warfare shit as we start to approach a few cities and yeah. Yeah. Again, they're just desperately holding the line in a lot of places. But no, you you get it. The commanders charge indeed. Where's more Dutch indie boys? Send in fire oh my god, man, yeah. I don't know, man. Yeah, I, I know you get it. And I'm, I don't doubt most, like, you know, modern naval academies are very much like, yeah, don't fucking do this again. Or, yeah, if it doesn't work the first time, fucking think. the next, Don't just do the same thing next time. Don't just hail artillery without asking someone what the fuck kind of artillery is this. You might, I don't know, yeah. <laughs> Less uh, concussive explosive power, more spraying metal everywhere to kill infantry, but... Whatever, we're still hiding in our trenches. Yeah, I don't doubt a lot of us got some PTSD from that shit, but I don't doubt a lot more of you guys got it much worse from drowning in piss trenches and the big motherfucking bombs going off. Even if there's less of them after a while, it's like, yeah, I don't know, the psychological impact uh, of that and being pressed between your, yeah, your fucking hell, the marshal's gonna shoot you, you're gonna drown in piss, you're gonna starve, you're gonna fucking get shot. With us, yeah, any of these things could happen. But as far as I understand, there was a bit less pressure from, you know, the marshals. The Kaiser was willing to back off and let us... Hand. It's like, bro, we're in the middle of a fucking jihad. Let us deal with this shit. Yeah, yo, somewhere in between. Somewhere in between. I do not doubt it was rougher on the other side with, yeah, like, I'm so... Yeah, you guys get it. You were in the fucking Nazi camp at that point. Whatever, neo-Nazi, whatever you think of as a Nazi camp. Yeah, Drowning in a shitty piss trench, waiting for someone to shoot you unless you go get shot by someone else or run into some razor wire. And yeah, they burned through all their artillery and nothing. Yeah, all they did. Oh yeah, guess what? They they turn they you know turn on the blender, mix up. Oh farm girls, you fucking goddamn Hannah Montana's laughing again. Yeah, just churn up the whole farm into a big sloppy fucking mess of soup. Yeah, oh the soil's a little sloppy. Soil's a little sloppy straight up. A lot of guys drowned in like craters of piss, <laughs> waiting like you know injuries they could have recovered from if they hadn't drowned in piss from their artillery barrage. I know, right? Again, the result of negligence. Like having AIDS in your motherfucking brain, you'll just spiral further and further into dumb negligent bullshit until this bitch fucking caps you or some shit. I don't know where the fuck is John Jane of the jungle. We gotta deal with this shit. And yeah, you know, I'm, I'm very much laughing at the, you know, mastermind tactical geniuses quoting Napoleon and Julius fucking Caesar before ordering their men to drown in piss trenches. I know, right? Yeah, yeah, now she can laugh, but can all laugh about that shit. Yeah, we all did dumb shit, but I mean, okay, yeah, we, as we really draw it to a close here, but uh, the, the land war. Yeah, no, all of you fucking think. Like, imagine you're a mid-ranking commander anywhere in this unit thinking like, okay, technically... If we're the bad guy, if we're invading you, yes, yes, if you're only protecting your crown and queen and country and motherland and capital, yes, why are you charging? Yeah, straight up Francais, like, we, yeah, straight up, why don't we got the Maginot? Yeah, you motherfucker gotta have a Maginot, you gotta have a Trump wall, right? You should be laying barbed wire, we should be charging into you. 
What about, remember the U-boats? Yeah, 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 Bo, we're gonna get there, see? We've put you in an awkward position where, yeah, you can't just wait. If you sit around waiting, you're gonna run out of supplies and bullets. You, you all, you're on a crunch for time now. My fucking Kronos up in this shit. Yeah, you got to defeat both of us before you all run out of supplies. Everyone's panicking, no one knows what to do. This has never happened before. Yeah, 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 right? I mean, stay, yeah, we're winging it too, but I mean, even with our, yeah, you can guess our Imperators. I don't even know where the crazy hat man is. Straight up, he's, we straight up lost him in Serbia somewhere. We lost Grandpa in Serbia somewhere. Motherfucker wandered a down an alley, whatever. Crazy 120-year-old blind deaf man. Yeah, swap him out at the old folks' home, put a different hat on this motherfucker. Yeah, by this point, you no one gives a shit what these guys are saying. You guys are at risk of being shot from your marshals because of your queen desperately. Yeah, you get it. They're throwing you all into this hopeless meat grinder, hoping anything will work. Just kill them before these U-boats sink our whole merchant marine and take all my bitches, pimps, and heroin because get real... Yeah, yeah, you see, a lot, most places have far, people can sustain themselves, there are ways, there are methods, yeah, if it really comes down to it, America's got farms, yeah, there's farms, fucking, there's lots of farms all over the place. You think, yeah, right, you think we're gonna starve the world, we might do a racket, yeah, no, they're already in a food racket, all I'm saying is, yeah, no, I hope that's as apparent as it can be, that's as far as I can do the hard speculation on, yeah, yeah. <laughs> One way or another, I don't know how, if this, how masterminded this was, this could have just been taken advantage of the situation, like, dude, yeah, 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 they probably didn't expect the U-boats to be that effective, but yeah, no, yeah, you start sinking everything in the Atlantic, like, wait a minute, and yeah, they had a fleet of battleships too, we're gonna get to the Clash of the Dreadnoughts, but no, they, those U-boats went straight for the Merchant Marine, yeah, cutting off supplies, if, if you have a choice between... You know, fighting the Death Star or fighting the fucking cargo convoy? Yeah, 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 right? Mm, I learned this from a video game that most of y'all probably ain't never heard of. I don't know if Sun Sasu ever heard this. Let's say you're fighting an enemy that's too powerful to defeat, a ship that's too large, a Death Star that's too strong, the armor's too thick. We, yeah, there's nothing we can do, bud. What the fuck do you do? You starve a motherfucker. Yeah, you starve the motherfucker. You kill its food. Yeah, you kill all of its food and it will starve. And the bigger and crazier your Death Star is, the, easy, the bigger its appetite is. Yeah, diabolical diabolo, motherfucker, starve your prey to death if you must. Must, if it is Imperator, kind of like the Flood in Halo, yeah, basically, something like that, right, that's what we were doing, and yeah, uh, panic flail, here's the thing, we'll get to the politics next time, yeah, we're wrapping this up here, <sighs> politically, yeah, we, you know, I, I do not blame Germany for signing whatever surrender at the end of it, yeah, right, again, it's kind of like the Ottomans, straight up, Ghost Mafia Imperator, motherfucker, they got it. Yeah, when shit ain't Imperator no more. Yeah, when the damage is done and the bitch is sinking, you take off the hat, badge and gun, retire from the Quickie Mart, just like ma fucking goddamn Turkish Muslim Borat Kamal Ataturk. Yeah. Salalulalelamon's rape mansion, buck and bunker busted, jihadded off the map, yeah, straight up Imperator, and straight up when the Ottoman Empire is gonna collapse, he takes off the hat, badge and gun, retire from the quickie mart, no shame, no gain, no pain, motherfucker, we got everything we needed and didn't lose a cent more than necessary, they fully know when to fold them, they folded their hand at just the right time, just enough dominoes kicked over and you guys had to just crawl around in sewage and piss trenches for the fate of your royal monarchs. I hope you really love the dildo crown game of bones going on. <clears throat> oh, th that was entirely at the uh, other side of the political coin here. Yeah, nothing to do with, uh, yeah, ma'am, no, absolutely. Uh, yeah, ever since we fucking turn the blender on an old grandpa's farm yeah you you goddamn she won't stop laughing from that yeah mastermind genius fucking master general straight up julius caesar up in this shit let's just fucking turn the blender on and turn the farm into a sewage
I don't know. Uh, yeah, well, what kind of septic? Yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, yeah, he's straight up Napoleon up in here. Just fucking D Dutch Count of Flanders, what the fuck ever. Yeah. Yeah, that's what happens when, when you got some dumb, negligent bullshit in charge. And you guys probably get it. It's like, you've got this big empire, but yeah, the headless beast indeed. I don't doubt anyone in the British Admiralty could see all these pieces all at once, right? It's like, we're borderline with, okay, we can communicate one thing. I know those U-boats are kicking ass in the millions of dollars, yeah, and yeah, literally shut down global trade, that this is the world's biggest extortion racket, yeah, straight out of the Kriegsmarine, world's biggest fucking extortion racket of all time, straight Italian mobsters telling you, bud, you guys had the world's biggest extortion racket ever. Yeah, that was it. Everything. Oh, yeah, you won't talk all the opium, all the bitches, all the slaves. You, ki Yeah, we killed some slaves. We killed some bitches. We s fucking threw some of your opium away, took some of your opium. I don't doubt I was crouching around Tiger smoking some dragon after this shit, bitch. Yeah, fucking hell. Goddamn hundred-year opium war with the Ching Pong dynasty. Right? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. We'll get to that and we'll cap it off with the naval battle here. But, yeah, I really hope, like... I, I don't doubt, yeah, America comes in at the very end it, it, with their tanks and motherfucking, yeah, well, we'll cap off little bits with the naval shit and that too, because again, half those ships getting sunk are also, not half, a portion of them are American, and yeah, again, America, it, it's a trade relationship. There are different types of relationships between nations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Of course there's some sleazy politics. Yes, of course people want money. Get fucking real. Yeah, but I mean, whatever. They, I don't doubt just whatever. Normal general, not even master general, thinking, you know, this is the easiest time to deal with it, bro. Yeah, if we wait too long. Yeah, yeah, if, if this extortion racket of the global fucking Dutch Indy War. Yeah, eventually, yeah, yeah. They didn't know enough about us. They, Yeah, they didn't know that I, I was straight up ready to tell them they had the best uh, new republic going on. But hey, yeah, you know, whatever. Yeah, straight up, best new republic, babe. Yeah, straight up, man. All right. So, yeah, that's what that is. Uh, yeah, we'll, I'll cap. If you can think of any questions, whatever. I'll cap off any little details I forgot of. But really, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> the Somme, the Passchendaele. You know what that shit is. The big epic battles of World War One. Those are the days your commanders told y'all to charge. Basically, yeah, 28 days of artillery, fucking hellfire, you didn't hit anything. Yeah, blend up the farm like Napoleon ice cream. I don't fucking know. Yeah, send in millions of soldiers and they all die. Uh, that's, yeah, that's the epic battles of World War One. So, no, yeah, you're right. I don't know. The epic battle of World War One is the clash of the dreadnoughts, bitch. And with these uh, fucking steel turret mortars going on. And yeah, those those U-boats. And this is the thing, I, I was thinking too, I mean, you could have sent the U-boats after the battleships. But no, no, straight up. Yeah, yeah, you don't challenge the Death Star. You don't challenge the GTVA motherfucking Colossus. You starve the Colossus. You cut off its fuel. You cut off its food. You cut off all of its assets and support. And suddenly it is a liability. The flagship Super Star Destroyer becomes the most crippling part of your fleet. It's like a guy that's too fat to get out of bed. Basically. It's as far as I can take that. Yeah, straight up, bro. Yeah, you know what's up, bud. You got some straight tactical insight on the Monitor Dreadnought shit going on. That's about what that is, right? That's what that is. There's a very fine balancing line. Yeah, how, how big is too small? How small is too big? I don't have to tell you. This bitch can tell you. All, she knows how bad it is. Straight up. Catch you next time, man.